Hello, everybody, and welcome to the preseason edition of the Low Budget LCS. But it's not our preseason. It's not even our postseason. It is, in fact, Executive League Finals. And in this order is... to take on this arduous endeavor, I have recruited the help of the, not one, but two casters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not one of them, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're actually waiting for the other one. But you'll, you'll do for now. I've just been here, I don't know. Now, uh, I am going to call you Hurricane Boy. Um, that's good. That's, that's good. your name. Just FYI. Was, this is a celebratory stream. Actually, we're specifically doing this because Mighty got his internet back. That's the only reason this is happening. Um, I maneuver within the eye of the storm around the planet. It's always gone. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. God, I love this jazz, but is it the right mood for playoffs? What are we thinking? Yeah. Yes. It is. Before, it's beforehand, right yeah. It's first game, oh, right before the first game. This is how we want the viewers to feel. And then, when the games start, that's when we get hyped. Oh, wait, is there a spec link for draft? I haven't been here the whole time. I haven't seen one yet. They're not going to give us one. They don't care. I'm trying to speak their language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all caps. Yep. Got it. I was, I was gonna hit him with the hey, uh, can we uh get a spec link? Uh, uh <laughs> I like yeah. I like just putting uh after everything though. It is good. It makes them it makes them uh, think like you're trying to figure something out, which you're not, you're just being extra. I have a friend who can like almost perfectly do the Sekuno impression like that. Oh no. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Yes. <laughs> okay, that does sound funny though. Yeah. Alright, um, so both of you did both of you? No, one of you played in um Oh we both did. Executive. We both no, did. we don't need well... to talk about it, it was just him. <laughs> oh, okay, so both of you played in uh, executive this season. And I believe have both of you played both of these teams? No, uh, so no Mighty worries, was yeah. Mighty was in my group. Um, th okay. This this is entirely consisting of the other group. Not gonna lie, mm -hmm. Executive Group A got kind of scuffered um, at mm -hmm. the end there. Not not gonna not gonna name names, um, <clears throat> but <clears throat> things things happened. Uh, yeah, cough cough. So yeah, uh, and Loth Kloss took out Star Surge, who were the second team from our group, and PC Ghost took out Coffee House, my team. Who were the first seed from Group A? So this is a Group B rematch. This is also a rematch from last season. So these teams mm -hmm. have quite a bit of history together. When uh, Andaloth's Kloss took my team out in semifinals, Sag, mm -hmm. and uh, went on to beat uh, Panther Core. So I'm saying Panther Core wins because whoever eliminates my team has to win. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, that's always Andaloth like win, just to piss off the uh, PC fans. Mm -hmm. I am. I think I did a pretty good job of it in the PC Highlander series, so I'm going to attempt to do my best to be impartial here as well. Um, <laughs> wait, there. hold on. I know this guy. Folks, okay. I'm just here to say, have we already discussed that, listen, it's good and well that people can play League of Legends on consistent patches. They can figure out the meta and then they can find an appropriate rank according to their uh -huh. schedule, right? But true heroes, true champions, and champions of the low budget LCS are pulling off a crucible that even the cowardly pros refuse to do. Worlds, right. that stable this is preseason motherfuckers so this true. is how you find out who's good at this game who's got the mm. flexibility who's got the moves and we're gonna see it tonight oh we are already seeing oh, some yeah. spice thank you so crap. much look <laughs> chance <laughs> that's clean um, that's clean we already see a Twitch jungle ban, I think, too. That's probably Twitch jungle. I, I, I yeah, probably. No, I or, don't. Well, think Miniature so. Hobbit yeah. also got like. Didn't he get like yeah, a no pinta shot. during the season? Miniature Hobbit yeah, is a known Twitch enjoyer, and his Twitch has yeah. been uh, pretty ferocious. Se By the way, immediate Sejuani Belveth is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's aggressive. That's, it is, sure. but it's we you know Sejuani but, quite good into Orn, and Belveth is a PC zebra staple. And let's talk about the preseason, right? 
So mm-hmm. the new jungle pets, right? The Pokemon, the Neo pets, whatever you want to call them. Mm-hmm. Um, so they upgrade. I think it's. Oh, I need to go back and check. I know the first upgrade 40, is 40 at caps. forty. No, no, no. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. First there's, upgrade is at twenty. There's two upgrades. No. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's like a. It's like a three stage evolution. The first. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first upgrade is at twenty. The second upgrade is at forty, and the item leaves. And it, the smite bookmarks are changed again. The beginning smite is six hundred. The Middle smite is 900, and then the final smite is 1200, which is the highest it's been in like three seasons <laughs> ever. I think actually, I'm not don't the, the final, 100% of that. The final uh evolution of the pet it goes away and gives you a permanent buff, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I I don't remember what red is, but I know red um, is damage over time and a slow, I think. I think, uh, yeah, blue blue is um speed out of bushes and i think green is a permanent like small ass shield yeah. i don't remember yeah, yeah. so so, so you we did the smite item but you keep the pet okay the pet yeah. stays oh you mm-hmm. it's it's a perma pet yeah it's a perma Holy pet shit. so league is just pokemon now yeah for yes. junglers oh, yeah amazingly uh, <laughs> we actually get we get to play a more fun game while everybody else has to play league unfortunately I mean, this this is riot games signature move right you find out what's working in other gaming spaces and you bring it to your game exactly i, like I, mean, I don't they I, saw people they saw people were doing rts games well we got we got heimerdinger and Ophelius. the main turn, mechanics of your own that i wish came over with the pokemon starter choice is Pokeball. um the ability to nickname your rival so I want the ability <laughs> for my team to pick the name of the enemy jungler. Okay, that would be quite cool. Is the am I stupid or is do. Caitlyn not like good in Tavares? Um, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yo, I can't wait for Gary stealing my buffs. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's so good. If I lose this smite to Gary, I might lose it, actually. It might be over. <laughs> so I may sick. not want to play League anymore. <laughs> oh, so good. But yeah, so um, the reason I want to talk about Beldeth, Beldeth, more of a farming champion, is going to evolve that smite a lot faster, probably, than Trundle. Trundle, if he wants to have an efficient clear on the same range as Beldeth, has to opt for the um, Tiamat. Now, I will say, on this patch, I believe I that... Busted. Ravenous Hydra is absolutely busted. Now, I nice. think that hotfix ner- nerfed. Or what, Has that I... come through? Has the hotfix it's, come it's, through? Uh, it's patch day. I don't think it's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm interested, actually. Wait, how long has it been preseason for? Like, Today. Like 12 hours? Like 24 hours. 12? Great. Excellent. Know, God, this really is peak League of Legends. <laughs> getting spicy okay they're straight okay. into the actual draft this yeah. is good we do have a caitlin morgana by the way i don't even know what um morgana builds anymore did they change support mythics yeah kind yeah, of gonna be weird not the uh, not not like an egregious amount it's just like and now i think there's a new support mythic not even yeah. right i think it's all the same the, ones and a lot of the radiant virtue go that healing one yeah that one the radiant virtue yeah yeah radio virtue is very mythics, cool yeah. Um, I think tank supports are gonna. I think some tank supports are really gonna like love, love, love Radiant Virtue. I love, and I've I'm gonna I'm gonna close my notepad of the horn items list, but I am giving it one final look over because I can there's name, new ones. There is. I can tell you them right at this moment if you'd like to know. I would like to know because I, I need to memorize them now, or I'm gonna get close right. and not know them. Um. Jack Show the Protean is the unspoken parasite. Cool. Um, Radiant Virtue is infinite convergence. Um, okay. Iceborne Gauntlet is its original <laughs> Orn item now, and it's just Frozen Fist, which right. is the greatest thing ever. Um, That's awesome. Heart Steel is Leviathan. I love uh, that. Rod of Ages is Primordial Dawn. Okay. Am I missing any of this? I don't think I am. I think that's all. Yeah, that's all. But that is, those yeah. are all the new um, horn items. I'm very excited to. Cool. Cool. I really appreciate what Praetorian put in chat that he's got to go. Uh, but uh, he's taking all the credit and none of the responsibility. <laughs> mm. That's the way to do it. That's the way to make an exit. 
Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's smart. That's a no. <laughs> Just screenshot the first part, by the way. Be, yep. it, okay, hold on. It works out really nicely on my screen because the the part where the second part of his statement is on another line, so I can just screenshot the top part. Dude, and perfect. His, gonna ignore his getaway is said. good. That's our Reginald. That's <laughs> the other our <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so PC good. Praetorian lovingly dubbed the Reginald of Panther Corps. Mm. I love been water. Put and pinned in community. I need to go get a drink, so do I'm it. sure you three could do Prep an yourself. amazing job at entertaining the masses. All right. I can't prepare it for it. <clears throat> Let's talk. Yes. How does this go? We've got Trundle, Orin, Ari, Caitlyn. This feels very scale y to me. I think the Caitlyn Morgana will be your strong point here. Um, so maybe Trundle goes top to bot. Uh, Belveth, obviously, you can want to farm. Perhaps you take the Ari or the Caitlyn or something and you look to invade. Um, Vex, though, does have a lot of tools for herself. Lulu Varus probably going to be on the back foot, but certainly have the range to deal with the Caitlyn Morgana. So I don't I don't see a clear victor here. I do think mm. the, the comp for Andalox Cloths is a little bit more simple in terms mm. of execution. One thought on it. One thought alone. I don't like the Ari because I think it's a pick away because they're scared. They're mm. scared of Seer's Ari. Ooh. And that, that alone is a mental advantage to PC. Now, can... Let me ask this. Is that based off of the idea that you, like, do we know that for sure? That that was a... I don't think we know it for sure, it's but it is a really good bet. It's, it's a, a really very good bet. bet. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I mean, who knows what Dude Scooter has been working on. Uh, you know, it's with a name like that, uh, you know, you've got, uh, you've got gumption for sure. Mm -hmm. It's a good name. It, it's very nice. I like a lot of the names for the side of Andalos Class. Um, speaking of names, uh, the Panther Corps people are, have been committing, uh, I don't want to say crimes, um. Wait, look at this, look at this. I see it. <laughs> Officer Dude, swinging in, says, tell me you didn't look up Dude Scooter Mastery without telling me you didn't look up Dude Scooter Mastery. That's what I'm All fucking right. talking about. Hey, listen, Mighty, we're, we're holding your feet to the flame on this. Every time Dude gets a kill, if they start popping off. If they start popping off, we it's just like gotta. I told you so, yeah. But this is the thing. Now big, the I told is you on so. Them to prove it, right? Yeah. It's gotta happen. Yeah. Oh, officer, oh, dude. All right, I I'm loving this. I'm gonna be. Back. I'm gonna be watching this Ari oh, this in the, the entire time. Yeah, that, that, that is, the only that, that is their second highest mastery champ behind uh, Syndra, which is banned, Bam. obviously, and is 600k uh, for them. Wow. So Ooh. yeah. Beauty. Um, I was gonna say the like the main damage threat on and the lost class is Caitlyn, and I have found that if that Caitlyn does not get insanely in ahead, you are essentially asking Ari to one shot everyone when she gets charm. That's if fair. that doesn't happen. Uh, as a Trundle enjoyer, I personally think this Trundle might go damage, um, mm. and rely on the subjugate to take stats away from Sejuani and is going to be very, very good um, into mm -hmm. Belveth as well. I mean, yeah. they have to go Ravenous Hydra, right? Has to. <laughs> this is it's, kind of weird. I know, know Sojin got changed, so it's not like the same you get um, bonus or you like reduce cooldowns during your ultimate, unless that is what it does. It's what, what, on what all does? the abilities, but your ultimate. Yeah, it's not. Well, ability, wasn't yes. it like when you cat? Well, old old uh, Sojin was like you when you casted your ult, then you um, would start reducing the cooldowns. I don't know what it is now. Though. Let's find I don't think out. It triggers like that anymore, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think it's like that anymore. I don't know how it works. I, I think it's the only new item that I Spear don't. Spear of Sojin, yet. unique passive, Dragon Force, non ultimate spells, gain an extra eight. Open parentheses, plus 8% bonus AD, close parentheses, ability haste for melee champions, 6 plus 6% 6 bonus AD, ability haste for range champions, reduced to 4 plus 4% 4 bonus AD, and 3 plus 3% 3 bonus AD for spells with immobilizing effects. Unique passive, exigency. Oh, don't read that one. That one's really long. No, it's not. <laughs> well, that, is that not the one that has no. like a bunch of different numbers for a... Uh... No, it just says gain up to 15%, 10% range move speed based on your missing health. Oh. That's oh. all Spear of Sojin does. It, it looks like... Uh, 
it it looks like it's like it does give you stuff um but not like it doesn't seem it's not tied to your ultimate cast mm, and i think okay. therefore it is tuned down i love that both junglers have like the little idea. jungle diff title i mean you gotta <laughs> there's there's Only literally no other title it, if you're if you're a jungler we'll know after game one yeah nah definitely we might. not we're gonna see a major comeback in this series. I'm calling it now. Whoever wins game one loses the whole thing. I mean, Holy shit! Whoa. Holy shit! <laughs> Making right. some brave predictions right off the bat. It's a hundred percent. Oh, Lachance, do you need the ability to watch the game? I'm. A, you know what? I'm watching it on a. I'm a. Think of me like a retired. Uh, sports star who's just been you know somebody uh, scheduled for me to be on the desk and i'm just here to say a thing every once in a while oh, okay 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 that sounds good i'll just stream the game just in case though you know? <laughs> beautiful beautiful <laughs> and we're all for oh there we go are we moving is everyone moving and grooving i'm moving you want to give 11, us a count 12 we are 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 right. okay yeah. goodbye my friend i will see you for brunch I love the um, count. He loves brunch so much. He loves brunch with the Hurricane Boy, um, which is yeah. the mighty fool. <laughs> just FYI. Yeah. Mighty, do you love hurricanes? Is that why? I, I just I, I have so many of them. It's crazy. Dude, hurricanes are so good. They're Le delicious. Chance Manning. Okay. Oh that's my a good god. One. <laughs> yes. Le Chance Manning is. A there good we one. go. That's exactly the role. That's exactly the role I'm looking for. That's pretty good. Oh, look at that ward timer. Look at that. That's new. Look at that. Look at it. Wait, oh, no, yeah. look at this. The oh, shit. The, the green one. Green pet for oh, Trundle. So awesome. this, is, this is tank Trundle. Full, full I didn't think in. anyone would go for the green one. This is kind of weird. Yeah. I'm Yeah, I'm not a huge... Well, it's a permit oh, it shield, gives right? Tenacity. It yeah. gives tenacity. Tenacity when it is good. Too. That's yeah. really good. Mm. Yeah, actually, this... I'm not gonna be able to alt tab out too much, so you guys are gonna have to read the patch notes to me. Um, I just I've, I've I'm not reading any patch all. notes. Yeah, we're going. We're, we're just gonna. Play we're it. learning together. This yeah, is. I've never even seen the little pets. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Um, you'll get your beer sponsorship in between games. Don't worry about it, and don't you dare call a coriander beer shitty. Okay? Don't you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Who's saying that? Pure sack. Uh, Booner Bombs Someone who's in the chat. One. A fool. A mighty fool. Wait. <laughs> doesn't seem very mighty to me, personal opinion. <laughs> oh. You're missing that finding. Yep. You got so, O'Neal down here. Uh, you mean Ruffian? That's Ruffian. Yeah, Ruffian. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's Ruffian. You're never... Did... You're not getting it from me. <laughs> it is, that is Ruffian. <laughs> Is that actually Ruffian? Yeah, yes, Ruffian. Yes, it's Ruffian That's and Jackie Boy. And Jackie Boy. They've Cowboy changed their names oh twice. Oh my god. Oh yeah, my they're god. They've changed their name, I think, at least two they... of my favorite people. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right, we'll, we'll keep an eye on them. Life for their sakes. Listen, there's too many people to root for. Oh, dude. All right, eyes are on dude. Yeah. Yeah. Dude's down so CS true. right now. I already said it. Down potions, down Up, CS. Hey, one CS. <laughs> One CS and the potions are to to make Seer feel uh, feel safe, mm -hmm. to allow them to misstep. Yeah, that's like right, that. Seer. You heard me. I'm rooting for Doot Scooter this game. <laughs> are you going to? Right, wait, wait, let chance. Ooh, binding's Maybe? gonna hit there. Brad, Dad, gonna look for the headshots here with Meteor Drop, but that's gonna be the exhaust drop. Catboy forced to flash away. God, I called him Catboy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Reflexes before reflexes work before the brain. You read what you saw on screen. That's yeah, just, you can't can't blame your brain for that one. It's okay. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. Uh, oh, Charm is gonna land here on the PC. One. Seer Wazak going forward is gonna be doing the Toronto Dude Scooter dodging out of the way, running. Seer getting run down. Pads doesn't choose to use the flash. And first blood oh, oh. is going to go over to Waza. Before you say first it, blood, hold dip, on. No, 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 Mighty, no. <laughs> first blood is the back of who? None other than Dude Scooter. All That's right? So Fucking there. called it there. <laughs> this is going to haunt you this whole series. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. going to... He's going to... He looks like um, he's going to set up a dive on bot side. Yeah, this is a dive. Wazak, though, will be spotted out. He's oh. going to go forward. Pillar going to be used. <gasps> Ruffian gonna go super low going forward, tries to find the kill, can't quite get it. Flash is gonna be committed. 
Almost got many I, of it. I kind of thought, does he not just live there if Jex polymorphs Trundle? Uh, probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I, I saw it, but they did go for the one for one, but they think it's fine, actually. I just also, that, that pillar almost messed up. I think a trap and a pillar went in the same spot. Yeah. Mm. Um, a little bit scuffered. Little bit yeah. They're learning. By They're growing. Trouble. By, by one true trouble. love. Inter oh, actually, I can't say Trundle's my one true love. I have like five of them. Yeah, it was a huge Sejuani and Nunu, no? Uh, Sej, not as dude. much. Nunu and Warwick, I would say, and Elise. Oh, there. Elise? Oh, what, yeah. what do these pets do? So, they, uh, they, they make, so the passive for the pets makes it like 20% easier to clear your camps. Okay. Um, and it doesn't work on enemy camps. So it's a slight okay. nerf to counter jungling. Although the way I heard someone say it is like, it's actually the same amount of time to clear enemy camps as it would have been to clear your camps previously. It's just it okay. takes less time to clear your jungle now. Um, oh, that's cool. They're trying to make jungling... Go, they made it uh, a little simpler, yeah. 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 Oh, I get, hate get the new leash junglers and the Gankin. Oh, I hate the new leash ranges. They're so Oh, awful. yeah, the leash ranges are very, very They're so nice. Cringe. Also that. Oh, boy. Cringe is a really good way to put it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even leash blue buff and gromp together anymore, okay? I don't know. I, I you like have, You I have to do it with, like, around. certain champs, right? Only, like, yeah. really certain champs that can do it in this, like, the ones that can, like, two shot. Yeah. I can't. Listen, as a I'm support a... man who sometimes has to jungle, if I gotta kite around and click so much, man, I, just, I don't feel at home anymore. You know? <laughs> Zebra will be spotted out here. Um, hey, uh, Lachance, I have a question for you. And this yeah, is hard-hitting journalism coming straight from the core, alright? Yeah, go nuts, man. Wouldn't you say you have a conflict of interest on this game? What? Oh. oh, hang on, they're uh -oh. gonna go forward. Flash, whoa, a beautiful instant whoa, gonna come out whoa. from Ruffian. Brad Ted, though, Wazak gonna flat, get back. Catboy, Catboy gonna whoa. fall down underneath his own turret. But Zebra is here on the defense. Flashes forward, whoa. finds a double knockup. That's gonna be a kill. Zebra now going forward is gonna be the target of the exhaust. Looking to do the damage, uses the E, gets one execute. Can they find another one? It is currently a one for two. In favor of Panther Core is gonna be rooted up. Brad Dad looking to do the damage. Arrow gonna go through. Zebra gonna pick up the double kill and will even themselves out with the enemy jungler. There, there is an MVP already for this game, and it was that flash from Zebra. Holy yeah. shit, that was a good That one. flash was good, but he does not get the chance to turn that around if Jack does not have a gorgeous oh, sidestep. Oh, Duck Lord with the solo kill. Oh, oh my wow. god. Wow. Try to pick away the Orin. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah, Duck Lord and known Orin enjoyer coming out with the Sejuani signature pick now and using the Glacial Prison to prevent the Call of the Forge God from messing him up. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. A lot of small, but like, a lot of, we're seeing mechanical wins come out from Panther Core and Ghost, which is not what I was expecting coming into the series, but it's awesome to see it happen. Good lord. I want to point out real quick that that green pet is so cute. It's probably the cutest one. Just I think that. the blue one's the cutest. Blizzard and Jory's, oh, hang on though, here comes the Dark Binding, no cleanse now available, that's gonna be one headshot, that's gonna be two headshots, and PC Ruffy oh. though, might get the counter kill, flashes forward, does able to get it, Brad Dad gets it at the back end, and now we have some portal combat, but they're gonna... Never, never give okay. up, never surrender, <laughs> that's why you don't stop auto-attacking, do not accept your fate, that was beautiful. This, really you know... From Catboy too, right? <laughs> If there's nev if there's something that's been consistent over all of these seasons of P of, of like just not even PC of LVLCS, it is that you can trust Ruffian no matter what team he's on to flash into the worst situation <laughs> possible. <laughs> Except yes. right then, it was perfect, just gorgeous, beautiful flash in, beautiful, beautiful way of playing that fight. Ooh, Cowboy, might be getting a little bit baited here. here. Going for the trades here, but they don't know that there's a zebra on the back end. The red pet not quite caught up yet. He's looking to come forward. The knockup will be good. The unstoppable not quite there, and zebra goes on a killing spree. Good Holding to see that, uh, the knockup is nice. Preseason hasn't changed Belveth at all. So it looks nope. really broken whenever people play it well. <laughs> you should see me play it. I look balanced. <laughs> Yo, <Yeah, it's laughs> nice. same. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice.
Uh, it happens to the best on the way. other side of the map, though, once you do that gank top, you are going to get the dragon taken away. God, that was cute. The little green pet. The, the I, little just celebration. jumping. Yeah. Nothing is more... The way they jump to, like, camps, but also, like, if you walk into bush, watching them disappear. Like, yeah, cool. here's the other thing, though. Belveth with Herald is super scary. You get these little mm -hmm. voidling passives if you kill minions in the lane that you spawn the herald. Mm -hmm. Or I think maybe while you have the passive, I'm not 100% Yeah, while you have right. the passive up, yeah, yeah. while you have the passive up, any minion you kill turns into a void simp. Yeah, so if you can like double your minion wave and then crash a tar uh, herald into a tower. It is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Looking pretty even across the board still though, only about 300 gold difference between the teams. Um, yeah. Notably still a farm advantage Hobbit. in the lane. Even oh, after that's uh -oh. this area. They're gonna let you go forward. Jackie Boy gonna <laughs> look to sacrifice himself using the wild growth to try and stay alive, but not gonna be there. That ruffian might be in a little bit of trouble. He's taking so much damage. There goes the ace in the hole. It's oh. gonna land. Seer's ultimate does not quite hit him. And Neutral Hobbit is now kiting out Zebra. Zebra is gonna get rooted. Not gonna be able to flash that one. That's gonna be a headshot using the damage reduction. Is it gonna be enough? Zebra still alive. Jesus. Yo, miniature Hobbit's actually really good, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was some like clean kiting. Mm-hmm. I think uh, one thing that did suck for do you see that fight though? You, you uh, I don't know if you guys saw Ruffian's ult fly into Narnia. Unfortunately, I imagine if that hits on someone who doesn't have the spell shield, um, maybe it's easier for Zebra and Seer to try and turn that. But they don't lose too much for it. They do drop. Yeah, Seer's two ultimate kills. I think is well missed. Yeah, Seer's really. ultimate went a little was short. I think. Yeah. So, but maybe a couple ults hit there, turns the fight, but a big win and a lost class. Obviously, they're putting a lot of focus towards the spot save. They've identified where they want to target. That being said, Zebra has three kills and his first item. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. even notice. <laughs> already has that Blade of the Rune King, already down to 15 stacks on the jungle pet, so it does have that first smite evolved. You can see it goes mm -hmm. off kind of like rainbow um, right? Yeah, as does uh, Raza. What's that? Wazik. Wazik. Wazak. 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 <laughs> um, Wazak actually up yeah, four. Wazak, yeah, I was like, up Four yeah. jungle camps somehow mm -hmm. on Zebra. Not in like pure CS, but in terms of stacks on the uh, mm -hmm. passive. Hmm. I think uh, Wazak was a little more active in the ganking early, but caught up big on the farm as Zebra's been pretty active around that bottom Hey, Ornhorn gonna be used here, but Ducklord gets right out of Dodge. Should be really easy. Now yeah. here are all of those Void Links crashing out of this mid tower, putting money in your mid laner's pocket. Mm -hmm. Zebra gonna take some of that mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, well and that's even up the gold hey, And he is. He's deep. <laughs> They're gonna spot him out here. Not gonna find nowhere to go. Ultimate oh. is gonna miss from Doneo win trade. Brad Dad gonna be in trouble. Is gonna get taken down, but the root underneath the turret. Wild Growth cannot quite save Zebra. That is just and one too many right traps. Out. Yeah. Beautiful use of putting a trap and then a trap right in front of it. Just in case. Thought he was gonna leave. Does not get the chance to. Yeah, so, that is and a lot of gold on Yeah, I was say, the gold goes to Caitlyn. <laughs> If there's anyone I wouldn't have, they wouldn't have wanted it to go to, it's definitely her. Came oh, relatively even though. Huge. All things considered, only 200 mm -hmm. separating the two teams. And I think they know that um, once this, um, we're gonna see. I was, huh? we're I, about to see a pillar. Can stop was that going forward? Good pillar, game. forcing yeah, Jack to flash out there. I don't mm -hmm. know if I like ulting there because the dragon's very close, but it's probably fine. Mm -hmm. And this would be really good for uh, Andalos if they could start stacking these dragons up. Uh, I don't think there were any changes in the preseason to the dragon. Not true. Uh, Chemtech Drake is back. It is? Mm -hmm. it is. Yes. Uh, but it's different. Really? It's different. It's different. It's different. It's different. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's you get tenacity and is it move speed? I think so, yeah. It's tenacity and move speed, but the honestly the big change about Kim Tech Plant is it um, the map, right? The, it doesn't do the map. Yeah. It empowers the fruits. So Blast it, No, it empowers the, all the plants. Yeah, yeah all, all the, the plants. plants. Okay. Um Blast Cone sends you like halfway across the map, which is almost an exaggeration. Not quite. Not cute. Um, up the bugle, oh, thank you, um Field whoever spray. said Sweeno, Sweeno and shit. 
Sweeno in chat. It's shield strike dot move speed. Thank you. Move speed to cut it. But it um blast cone sends you really far. Um these vision plants give you movement speed and lower all revealed wards to one HP. They're just doing this in full um, vision. Yeah, I'm really surprised. Nice here. Okay. Wazak available. Might look over the wall. Not gonna be able to get it, though. Mm -hmm. PCC bro will they get upgraded. Have they tried to use the one damage from Pillar. I mean, hey, it can happen. There goes Glacial Prison. Not quite gonna hit, but a slow will land. That's gonna be three autos. That's gonna be four. That's gonna be a stun. We'll see her go in. Does choose to yep. go in. That's gonna be a fear. And that's gonna be one taken down. Zebra now here to help. And Wazak gonna be in trouble. The stun passive is gonna land. And that is going to be a flash away. But the wow. turret is one too many shots for Zebra to handle. That's gonna be a two for one, though. And this mid turret is going to fall. Wazak's mid pillars have been no, just pillars have been gorgeous so far this game. Aside from maybe one, but still ended up in a kill. Um, oh, Jack is AFK. Nice. <laughs> right. Oh well, does it look like he's about to immediately cleanse this? Um, it does yeah, look like yeah. he's about to immediately cleanse on cooldown. Yeah. Cleanse on cooldown. You know the crazy thing is, Donio went and blocked this binding. I think because they knew the DC happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the immediate <laughs> cleansing is huge. Top tier. Uh, oh, that is a really good question. Don't struggle to so. live that I, mid situation if he has R. So. I do not you don't think, think so. so? There's too much there. I think Seer had another rotation in him, and I think Duck Lord had another W. I, I don't think Seer also had another R. Yeah, there aren't enough Lonnie stats to there, take though, away right? either. Yeah, Sej was there. It was 3v1 at that point. And I don't think there are enough mm -hmm. stats on anyone yet. Um, to yeah, really true. make a huge difference. Mm. All right, all right. That's interesting, but I agree. I think Chund, Chund ult don't heal that much. Yeah, I think the other thing to look at is the scaling is probably a bit better for Andalos. So you know, as mm. long as they're trading close to even, I don't think it's too terrible for them. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like their scaling more. I think I honestly like their team fighting more. I think the only problem they're going to have the later the game goes is obviously, I think, having to deal with um the Belva. their enemy team getting on yeah dealing with belva obviously dealing with varus dealing with Lou scaling but you're gonna get orn items you're Passive gonna get more damage on caitlin if people die sorry <laughs> yeah. oh yeah true Fair passive point. only works well you would have gotten the passive fuel from belva I, I don't know if he has triumph i don't think he does um I don't know. Oh, it's so hard to right. say without a simulation. It's so hard to say. I can't wait for Riot to actually release a tool that lets us chrono break our own games. Because... Don't need it. I did the math. They die. <laughs> In your head? Yeah. Yeah. They die. Yeah. Okay. They all die. Yeah, I mean, you heard it. He, he doesn't need it, so... You know. I yeah. did actually do the math earlier, and with the new Heartstone item, I forget what it's called. I'm calling it Heartstone. Heartsteel. Heart Steel. Heart Steel. Um, Set can drop... Uh, Cho'Gath on your ADC's head for almost 6k damage. Um, wow. Ooh. Yeah. Love that. Okay, they are going to be able to take down this turret, though, and Ruffy ain't going to be in a little bit of trouble. Forcing out the wild growth. Oh, oh we have... Uh, Where did you? <laughs> so we From have Orin. Pause, pause, but we also have the map, uh, the Chemtech map. Oh! Oh, we do. oh exciting! A giant Scryer plant, and I was like, what the hell did they change about this? <laughs> oh, there's also uh, honey, there's also... Uh, fruit. In the in the base, yeah, there's honey stems. In the base, that's cool. Which is yeah, there's more fruit. I think fruit spawns everywhere it can, and then some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then pretty cool. Like, I like this. Yeah, Hopefully, this I kind of want to see. I hope the camera takes us to someone who's about to use a blast gun. Wait, oh. I hope Zebra uses it. Wait, oh, okay, those are so it. cool. I'll so it's say just bigger plants or like yeah, bigger well, buff okay, plants. Perfect buff plants and the um the fruit give a shield as well mm. and they don't slow and oh yeah and they don't slow I, I, and, I and sorry if we we talked about this before the what does the drake do if you get the soul i don't know the drake soul oh, i'm not <laughs> sure. i actually don't know what kid text all that yeah, readers any patch note readers looking 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 uh, oh wait I, I can pull it up on my phone maybe i just don't want to mess up the stream for everybody i got it i got it Kim Tech Soul. Upon receiving the Kim Tech Soul, players will be will receive a buff that gives them 10% damage resistance and 10% more damage when while below 50% HP. That's way better. Oh yeah, it's basically That's just yeah. More fun. Yes. Way more fun. Yes, maybe not more <laughs> powerful, 
Uh, but it's a lot more fun for everyone involved, I think. Yes. As long as they're not putting those stealth zones back on the map, I'm okay. You know? yeah. <laughs> stealth zones on the map might have been was just ridiculous. They were excited. They were excited. They, they, they were wanted excited. to <laughs> very excited to show yeah. off so, and. This is really There's interesting. We have a fully upgraded green smite here for Wazak, and we still have five stacks left to go on Zebra. So that's going to be, I think, a pretty big difference. Wazak going to be reaping all the benefits from that fully upgraded Bulbazar. His Glacial Prison is going to go wide, but here comes pieces here. A beautiful right, stopwatch means that they're going to be able to stay alive, but Miniature Hobbit going incredibly low. Wazak trying to tank it up for them, but they're going to get pretty low as well. Charm is going to miss, but Dark Binding will land. And this fight is going to slow down. Walk on down, slowly <laughs> ambling down the river, see where he gets. Shot. <laughs> Morgana, like, pressed all the way up against the wall to make sure she didn't get hit by that glacial prison. Here comes the Ornhorn. Zebra might be in trouble. Oh, uses one dash, uses another. Oh. That's a fast void monster. Very balanced, that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. We're going to do the same thing. She came out before Belva. It's okay. I think. I don't remember the range of her dashes, but she could probably do it. Trust. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, but we um, have, are, are also seeing two of the new items already. Okay. Uh, we've yeah. got a Radiant Virtue on Orn, which will be an infinite convergence soon, and a Heart Steal on Sejuani. That was kind of big from Wazak that Steel is denying the upgrade still. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, still three more camps. He should be able to clear his whole top side, right? With, and blue buff comes up soon enough. So Yeah, yeah Duckler gonna look though. Oh, there goes the Glacier Pleasure. Oh. That's gonna land. Seer is gonna be available here, but Miniature Hobbit able to flash away. Trap is gonna land. Another trap is gonna land. That's gonna be some headshots. Here comes the Ooh. ultimate, but not maybe on the target you want. Flash forward, not gonna be able to land the Q. Duck Lord going over the wall. E not gonna be There's able to no land. Meteor Trap Hobbit is just running for his life, but Zebra comes in with the execute, gets the shutdown and the upgrade just before Drake. Yeah, getting the upgrade before Drake is devastating for Andalas because it's like, okay, we've kept we've kept the upgrade off of her. We're good guys, and then you give up the kill. That was and maybe she just have to fifteen seconds the longer than I expected for them to live. But I think it's actually bad that they live that much longer because now they're dead for Drake. Yeah. Yep. That's a stall is badge kind of scenario. Mm -hmm. But yeah, really good pick from Duck Lord there. I mean, maybe the comms are like, if you can live here, do your best. So I, to be fair, it didn't look Omega doomed until the Vex Cult came in and then was forced to split from Morgana and that was kind of... I like um, this call from Wazok though. Looking to go on the inside track on mid and summoning up the Rift Herald to punish PC for sending so many members straight. And I think even if you die here, if it gets a second charge, it's not that bad. This is subjugate, and here comes the call of the Forge God. Pillar is going to block off many of the advances, but Zebra is going to find the unexpected Andaloth on the backside. Flash forward. Andaloth very tanky though. Zebra is going to be forced to back away here as Miniature Hobbit has found their way to reinforce. Oh, looking to go forward. Oh, but they are going to get headshot here. Miniature oh. Hobbit is going to be the target of the Glacial Prison, but PC oh. Zebra and friends are going to snipe him from downtown with an arrow. Mm -hmm. Mr. Windtrade can pick one up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ruffian, despite getting bullied all laning phase, is still Varus. Varus is a pretty good champ, I think, um, and this on-hit build is going to work wonders. The later the game goes on, we're going up against two different tanks, and we're seeing Duck is going crazy on this Sejuani. Oh, yeah, and the, the heart steal is going to be so mm -hmm. nice for Sejuani because her ability is scale damage with max HP, and that's what heart yeah. steal does, baby. Mm -hmm. Will we see the demonic embrace, though? It looks like we are perhaps getting a Randuins? I think we're getting Randuins or Frozen Heart. One of the yeah, other. Yeah, it could be sure. Frozen Heart. I just mm -hmm. feel like... We saw you Frozen like, Heart second item from Chundle as well. Yeah, you like okay. um, health so much. It feels kind of bad to build on such money. But mm -hmm. obviously is, it's a very if good If Zelius is here, will he... I hope Zelius is here so he can, like extract us to what is uh what's the best possible vex build here mm, true that could Since also be pc Twitch. praetorian's job though 
Oh, yeah, but he said he had to leave, remember? Yeah, but he also said he taught Seer everything. Well, yeah, he's, oh, he's knock up is going to be down here. The right, shield so. does not work against attack damage, and Zebra is just going to find a solo pick. Brad Dad now forced to flash away, but does have another binding. Wazak going to be in the area, uses the pillar just to peel for the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not seeing this Belveth again. No, no. That hesitation <laughs> from uh, Zebra trying to go for the ulti pickup, though, kind of saves Brad Dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I thought it was to dodge the, um, the ult stun. For Morgul. It, it was a lot of hesitation, I don't know. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Ruffian's cleanses have been pretty good this game. They've been really <laughs> good. Maybe he was ready for this. Yeah. That being said, I still think there's a possibility for this game to get a little awry. Uh, Miniature Hobbit does a lot of damage. Obviously, there's always that, like, wow factor with Ari. Trundle's pretty strong in a side lane right now, and it looks like he's heading towards a Titanic Hydra, not a Ravenous one. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, like, Ari has a lot of uh, potential, but have we really factored in what Dute Scooter can bring to the table? Oh, no. Exactly. Where and is the Dute Scooter? Yeah, that's a genuine point, right? Good it's point. like, if you're asking me what Mastery 4 Ari can bring to the table versus what? Mastery 7 Ari can bring to the table, I think there's a lot of, like... There's a lot of variants there, I as a, they're going to force the Baron. I have a really important question. As we mm -hmm. see this Baron get started up, um, what is a Dude Scooter? What do you think a Dude Scooter looks like? Uh, a, it's a, dude, a Dude Scooter, I believe, is slang for a, a red side, Italian vessel. going down really aggressively. Ornhorn can be called, now under 2k HP. Zebra going to be taken incredibly low. Zebra going to look to get into the bit, not able to find it. They are going to be able to claim the Baron, so what is going to happen here? PCC are getting beat down by Wazak. Wazak flashes over the back of the pitch and manages to find the shutdown. Dude Scooter on the other side, running away from Ruffian and Jackie Boy. Meanwhile, Miniature Hobbit getting a little bit beat down by Duck Lord, but will be able to find the spacing. Now Wazak is here to assist. Oh, Ruffian Ooh. got hit by the charm from over the side. It's absolutely massive. Passive lands, but... Miniature Hobbit will almost certainly be able to take this one out, and that is a Baron and a full white for Candelot's Cloths. What a ch what one a really 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 good fight from Dude Scooter. I think every charmed throne was hit. Um, the we I think we were at a 100% charm hit rate during that fight, and it was just perfect for that. They Counterpoint. can now. Oh. Very impressive kiting from Miniature Hobbit. And also awesome very true. Yes. Without IE or uh, LDR for that fight. Mm. Also true. I think both of these things can be true. I mean, we can Good also point. talk about how Wazak had a. Obviously, got the smite, just destroyed PC Seer, and was able to clean up the fight afterwards. Just Andaloth clocks all around. Having oh. such a huge game. And oh, we got all up there and over the wall. You are still not safe. Oh. And the ace in the hole. Oh. Jack flashes! Oh, 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 I was gonna say earlier, everyone has been so scared to use these super Omega blast cones, but and a lot over the wall with the snipe. That's how it's done. <laughs> That really is how it's done. What an excellent piece of here is an okay, awful pillar spot. Pillar to be used here. Seer gonna have to be careful. Oh, Fear great. It's gonna be found, but can they do it? Dude Scooter is gonna find their vengeance. And now I... Duck Lord will fall as well as Dude Scooter goes on a doubly do. I will say it. Gonna give Plus, turning it around pretty hard. That's pretty impressive. Notably, the team of Dude Scooter Mighty. Did you have any predictions about the beginning of this game that we might want to? Huh? Uh, Andaloth doesn't want to win this game because that means they lose the rest of the series. Oh, oh that's right. Shit. That's <laughs> right. I forgot, I forgot about that about one. That. Oh, oh man, that oh. hurts. God. We're drop two inhibitors, and we're gonna see. Um, I'm one interested to see what the first because I'm pretty sure Orin gives an item as soon as he's up. I don't remember what level he is. Um, I'm interested to see if we're going to see the Deicide, Eternal Winter, Typhoon, or the Weandry's Lament first. Um, probably the Deicide. I don't um, know. I think you might upgrade the the Caitlyn. Got the IE Typhoon already. 
Mm-hmm. True. Typhoon would be pretty good here. I think those. I think you can't really choose wrong between those two. I wouldn't upgrade the Eternal Winter just yet. I think you can hold off on the Ari upgrade for now, um, and kind of focus on getting one of those two big damage dealers because we we're seeing the Titanic come out and it looks like I think the Ages or the Death Dance is about to come out as well. Um, probably Death Dance, and I'm yep. We're gonna see the Typhoon. Wee Unless he goes Brad Dutton, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, and we just see it fly to Brad. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, oh, okay. And it seems like they're going to try to set up a siege here on the top side. They don't have Baron anymore, but they have a pretty strong team fight, which we kind of saw coming. It's just a question of if Ghost can deal with that type of team fight from here on out. And I do think they have some of these tools, especially if they can get on this Kaelin early on mm -hmm. in the fight. If you put Seer on top of that Kaelin, that Kaelin's gone. Yes, very true. No shield bow. Really the good thing to get away is the Gale Force. And the yep. Charm is going to land on the Duck Lord, but he has a big help pool. Here comes the Orhorn. Zebra will be the target. Doesn't get rooted up, but that is an absolute deletion on the side. Ooh, into the middle of all oh. the teams. Zebra doing a ton of damage. Zebra is going to get the resets. He's still oh, autoing. Meanwhile, Ruffy and autoing for the backline. See, are going to go forward. Brad Dad going to fall, and that is going to be a one fight for Panther Core. Gorgeous. Yeah, very he ambitious let... Gale Force in for Miniature Harvest. Hey, got to find the kill, right? You let, they let Belveth get that one reset, and it really did look over from there. We saw a bunch of huge damage. I think we saw a massive Varus ult that fight, as well as a huge um, Vex ult that fight. Getting that, you lose the inhib, but you win the fight. You're showing signs of life, even though it, there was a while there, but we're not seeing a lot of little red streaks. In favor of Panthercore Gaming, they get a huge fight and are kind of able to level the playing field. Because we're getting to a point in the game where, you know, I'd say we're about maybe 10 or so minutes away from gold leads not mattering. Um, um, especially if, if they can buy that time to get the soul, that would really mm -hmm. turn things around for them. I Pendulum, to... Doth, Swing, Both Ways. As and they we're say. seeing a Sunfire's Aegis come out here for Bella. I soon at least want to start a rival organization now. That's um, Gen P, Generation Panthers, or P two Panthers two. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, oh, hang on. I might join it. Duck Lords. What about have some type of drama? Cougar Core? Mm. Love it. Ooh. I might have to join that the mortal enemy of Panthers. I think we all know this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. To be true. Uh, I believe they're actually the same animal. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, guy. What are you, it's, it's, what the, you, the what are you doing here? Is <laughs> Felix Conco. Oh, Seer finds the AD carry at the back of the line. The Magic Hell Shield, not enough to save it. Brad Dad trying to keep their AD carry alive, but that was a beautiful pick from Seer. A four man knockup from Seer. Oh, my goodness. Here comes the Orn Horn the back end, though. Is going to find its mark on so many of them. But the wild growth coming out from Lulu means Zebra is running all over this fight. But now, once again, Wazak has found his target. The Vex, a very chompable individual, but Zebra's going to go forward. Not going to find the knockup. Do Scooter. Gonna be able to stay alive here as Vex has to TP back home to try and save the base. So many super and minions coming against this one. Box trouble for this Drake. Let's see who wins oh, between these two. Yes. Both excellent duelists Incredible in their level. own right, but Zebra has the damage. Yep, more HP. What I wouldn't. Oh my God! Look at that! Oh my God! I love Velvet, man. <laughs> What a champion. And I'm pretty sure he's going to back and finish that Sunfire's Aegis. Um, has more than enough gold. PC Zebra is going completely ridiculous. But we did see a huge pick from Seer. The old hits Caitlyn in the back of the pit. And as Caitlyn, you're like, man, if I had just... If I had been patient, I'd walked all the way around to the front of the Drake. But we might have won that fight. That's not what happens. Vex gets the ult completely erases miniature hobby from the game and zebra takes care of it from there what a fight from tvc ghost and now we're seeing when these fights are not even even those kind of front to bite facts if they can get front to bite facts those um front to back fights if they can get those down it's going to be really interesting because they don't need flank they just need kind of like two big cc abilities to go in one after another and so far that's been working for them 
Yeah, yeah, and we kind of saw in that top inhibitor fight that formula from Andalus boss just uh, it, was, it was played really, really well at the start and then just gets a little bit messy. And as soon as that happens, Seer takes the opportunity and snipes off a Caitlyn somewhere, you know? Mm -hmm. So they need to clean that up just a little bit more, but I think they still have Ooh. the advantage in those sorts of fights. Yep. This game is on a razor's edge. One more fight could decide this. Flash forward, Duck Lord is going to find the Glacial Prison. Clan's going to be used out here from Inner Shahab and Ornhorn is going to find three. Jackie Boy going to take quite a bit of damage. The zebra is in the thick of it. Passive proc on the Andalot. The zebra lets to go forward. Zebra's trying to find the damage, but no one is dying just yet. He cannot reset. Wild Growth Force be used. There is his death. There's going to be the reset. They're going to find two. Brad mm. Dad now going to be the next target. As assist pings are being gone on top wave. The PC five members strong. Dude, Scooter's going. One. He's going. Scooter's going for the back door. A couple of recoves being channeled. Yep. Wait, why are they backing? This is it. Oh, no, 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 no. There's only one turret. Dude, can dude do it? Dude. I think there's Okay, no. They backed, yeah. Not quite you'd have to, be able to do you'd it. You'd have to 1v2. <laughs> gotta, get, gotta kill Sedwani after all. Like. Oh. Yeah. I mean, oh, man. my goodness. And Zebra takes these so quickly. It yeah. might end here, but we do only have nine seconds. Eight, seven, six, if they five, die, four, four this. the game is three, over. Two, That's true. It might not one. be worth it. Caitlyn is up. Horn is up. Morgana. Hey, Morgana. Oh, but the TP is oh, coming oh, in. Go crazy. Yeah, so the TP. They're looking at the damage. they DPS, the Nexus. They're just saying oh, we don't care. But Nexus. they might die. Duck Lord doing the damage. That's going to be one. Duck Lord left alone. Oh, oh my god, no. no. They can end. They just run straight uh, up there. No. Oh, and Seer the gets the back now. Seer. Seer has to defend he has all to try to him, basically. There's no. no defense there. You have to try to back there, I think. Well, they still have, well, here's the thing. They still have a turn, and he can definitely clear this wave. 16 seconds. I don't think they end here. Yeah, I was like, I don't think they'd have to, like, it, conjure a, a wave out of nowhere. It is a huge counterpunch. You might be right. He's so scary here. Okay, here comes oh, the Oh, must say right. fine Seer. Find Seer. We'll get a good chunk from the ace in the hole. Yeah, but yeah they're getting now, a lot of alive. damage off. In hit is, is open. They're gonna let they're gonna let Caitlyn oh, take it. Oh, like, oh, trap is found. That's gonna be Seer forced to go golden. But you never oh, want to go golden with a Caitlyn in the range. But meanwhile, Miniature Hobbit getting soloed by their counterpart oh. on the back end. Oh, but the Nexus oh, is getting hit. Down. The Nexus is dead. Around the lock, clock, back door, fight their way. Oh, that is so close. <laughs> Breaker. And this is a five game series? This is a five what? game series. This is gonna series. be so good. This is, this is a gentlemen, five. Oh, take your deep breaths now. Take your. Oh man, oh man. Things are going to get interesting. Because game, if game one is any indication of how, we're, how the rest of this series is gonna go. Oh boy. I'm gonna put the damage graphs there for a little bit and go grab myself a little bit more water. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and, uh I'm not gonna out, lie. Um, before please. we say before we say anything about the Ari pick, check uh -huh. damage, check damage. Yeah. <laughs> Did yes. I do no damage? I Wait. don't know. Huh, interesting. All I see is a hyper mobile mid laner that put enough pressure in the last moments of the game to draw crucial figures away from ending huh from their own team losing, and then that allowed for them to counter punch and win? Interesting. 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 I don't know. I don't know where you got all of that from the endgame <laughs> screen, but that's pretty impressive. I'm a master analyst here. Listen, how many others? You had to have one of a handful of mobile champions to be able to both put pressure and escape. Am I putting a little bit more effort into justifying this pick? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh, but, I mean, Dude Scooter, you know. Really fun name to say, uh, well, and an one incredible thing, player as though, well. One thing I do want to say though, if one they sent two people to back for Ari, if yes. one person to back, if one person had back, then that would have been one it. of the person yes. is hitting the Nexus, the game is over. Totally, <laughs> I can't, I don't doubt that for a second. No, you're <laughs> absolutely right. You're absolutely and right, and that is has to be one of the most gut wrenching things to think of. Credit, credit where credit is due, though, uh, to both teams. That's 
that is one of those high stress situations that you literally just can't practice for. You have to lean on, you know, the natural things that happen in in the game. And that was the, you know, (laughs) the, 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 the most stressful of all stressful finishes. But I think both teams fought really well in those, uh, those Nexus battles. Yeah, yeah. But I think you're right. One less person backed, that's game. Yeah, but, but like we were saying, and it, it comes down to just moments like that. And what Duke did, put the pressure on, and honestly completely changed the outcome of the game there. Mm-hmm. So, you know, credit where credit is due for that. Yeah. yeah. It's just, that was an excellent, excellent ending. We even had like a scramble fight towards the end. It's just, can't yeah. ask for anything better so i'm really interested to see what direction but we are gonna get into the lobby for game two and if you Mm -hmm. wow oh you're already in here okay Uh, hey hey uh oh (laughs) um try again (laughs) did you you climb it (laughs) 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 that's pretty fucked up i'm sorry i'm really sorry all right um um right now so um i think let's bell vest probably gonna be banned <laughs> i'd argue what um makes you well that? i don't know <laughs> whenever you win there's always the temptation to go for the salty run back well not even yeah salty, but the, the desalinated run back yeah but also i feel like um to answer your question wazak it's because pc members have too much money they're reckless with it mm-hmm. <laughs> And very few PC members will just bet a, will bet with this um, bet against the spread. Um, that being said, um, I think Endless is kind of looking at is like, man, that Belvas was not fun play. <laughs> That's just just a fact. Um, so I'm sure they're gonna um, be cautious about. That Belveth next time. Maybe, maybe, or maybe they're saying to themselves, "We won't let us go again. Right that won't happen. We're not gonna. We're not giving it three free kills in a bork like eleven minutes into the game. We'd never." Are never. we seeing a substitution here as well? I see Eros in the lobby now. Oh, oh might be. I do think maybe. they are one of those rosters that play with, um, you know, swapping players in and out. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Have to see if that changes. Uh the draft too much i i don't think the the side has been decided yet pc will get picked since they lost right yep that's uh, correct yeah also um i'm bringing you um inside information from from seer fuck i love this game holy shit i also have insider information from seer um i asked if uh what the odds were of a teemo pick they said, mm-hmm. I will not be playing Teemo. Very suspicious. All oh, caps. That is pretty suspicious. That sounds like they're going to be playing all Teemo. All caps and... <laughs> okay. No, and not guys. in all caps? That I will be kicked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, no, that might that might be true. Wait, Hold on. The captain? Yeah, but mutiny is common. Yeah. Okay. Um, mutiny especially... is common. <laughs> Love it. Especially Love in the LBLCS. <laughs> especially in the LBLCS. <laughs> yes. You know, I listened to a podcast about pirate medicine today. That was pretty fun. Ah, huh. oh no, my cat got. Hey, I believe it's okay, pronounced um, frog. Let's let's run a side bet. I just saw that my um the the door to my room is open, and my cat is known for going in there and pissing on my bed. Do we okay. have a side <laughs> bet of if I walk into my room, are we going to find out if my cat? Do you want me to start a respectfully? Respectfully, yeah, start a, start a prediction. <laughs> respectfully, let's out. Your bed is soaked with piss. There's no, okay. there's gotcha. not an alternative. I'll, I'll be pretty angry because I have a nice little sound. My bed's babe right now. It never is, but okay. Okay. Well, I hope it's not actually now. <laughs> it was just right, a, well. that was just a fun sentence to say, and right, I you have do. Thirty really seconds. You have thirty seconds. You have thirty seconds to get All this right. in. Roselle's coming back. If you're on it, you can get it. Did I'm Roselle's cat pee on the bed? You can make schmecks. You can break schmecks. Man, you said he's known for it, right? Like, mm-hmm. yeah. you I don't get known for no. something. I put 20 on no, I'll be honest. Okay. There's 50 on no. A chance to win 50 schmeckles if you just put 10 in. That's it. That's an easy clap. No one's bet on yes. The schmeckles might go to the void. Quickly, someone bet on yes. No! 
Well, unfortunately for uh good call for no one to vote on um yes because my cat did not piss on the bed. I'm very oh, happy. that's so good. I'm so happy. <laughs> I don't want to go. I might you may have you may have heard me scream explicit explicitives from um my room if the you would know the answer immediately. That's Might fair. Agree. But alas, no cat. No cat does not that. Hey man, I'm really happy for you. Mm -hmm. All right. We are in fact for the cat. going to get Okay, full full panelists. Let's let's do the LCS thing. I want each of you mm -hmm. to give me a full series number and prediction from this point. Okay? Great. Okay. I'll go first. Mm -hmm. DC three one. Because Anna lost one game one. Who's next? You. Okay. Yes, you. Um, Ghost 3 2. Okay. 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 No reason, just, just 3 2. 3 2. Yeah. Okay. Respect it. Well, oh, by the way, the. Um, they, the switch sides. Sides. they switch sides. Uh, they I'm switch sides. I'm going to say. Uh. Here, I'm going to go for a really specific one. Andaloths in five. Oh. Uh, PC loses this game, wins the next two. Andaloths comes back, wins the fifth game. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. I like it. And there's a Belveth bat, by the way. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, Belveth got to be out of there. Zebra does have quite the command over that champ. I don't care how I don't I don't think any team in any ELO after game one is letting that Belvis through even after winning. Yeah. <laughs> As like sometimes you don't want to pack and we're gonna see a channel response ban. Okay. Very That's cool. Very hot, expecting. very fresh. So what is being left up from last game? Can jungle respect tell bans. Me? Uh now, Sejuani's still available. We saw that Sejuani. early. Well, I think right? Ban? I'm trying to think of what they oh the Cinder is up. Cinder is Cinder is available. A very strong pick. I think for both of these mid laners, perhaps it will get B1 mm -hmm. here. Yeah, I was just saying maybe Seer takes it away, is not scared of Doot Scooter Syndra. That's true. That is and it away. is oh. not. <laughs> takes it right away. Yeah. I'm not interested. Hey, uh, okay, this Seer guy is ma almost a master's level mid laner. Uh-huh. Um, doesn't play mid all the time, but it is his main role, and has played Syndra and Vex. I've heard of this before. I I think I know a Masters mid laner who only plays Syndra and Vex. Oh my god, is it Zelius? It's <laughs> Zelius. <Zellius. laughs> it's fucking infiltrated. Somebody, yeah, take PC Sears' mask right off. Now, make sure he's playing. <laughs> we'll do a Scooby Doo style uh, chase here. Can we can we see a one v one, Zelius versus uh, Seer? Yeah, I won't believe anything until I see both of them in the same place. I, I want to be on a call with both of them too. That's mm. yeah, for sure. Hey, I know um, Zelius can probably play two computers. That's gonna be too. Jinx Lulu, but of Andaloth's cloths. Uh, tell me Ooh. about. Do you have any plans for the preseason just yet in terms of events? To for anyone for league for league. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, not not at this moment. I was going to do an Omega Strikers tournament mm. as soon as things uh, a, a one see. a one day Omega Strikers tournament. I've never that would played, be very fun. But I would. It's free and it's uh you know it's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> um, I want to see if I I don't think this is possible. Okay, we're gonna see Kaisa pick up for Ruffy and Sejuani for Duck Lord, or it could it's be like Flex Jungle. Um, yeah. I wish there was a way to play poker with Schmeckles. Oh God! Wouldn't that be <laughs> now? Fun? That would be great. Wouldn't that be now? Would really that fun? just? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's there's I, there's a lot of no. understandable reasons why they would they probably won't let us do that. But yeah. what do you think the interest level is in like community poker nights though? I'd, huh. I've been well, yeah. Discord, I've been has, the, um, Discord I, has the activity, I right? I don't know how to play poker, so I probably it's wouldn't better. participate. But you just lose. It's kind of random anyway. So okay, <laughs> focusing on the draft. First. All right. So I don't know if you know how to play poker. That's just a. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like it sounded like a very I don't know how to play poker either statement. 
Just yeah, nobody like, wins. You're not supposed to win. So both of these <laughs> picks the house from uh, PC and Andaloths, or Animal Crossing, as I'm going to maybe refer to them, um, could go top oh, or jungle. Miss Ban. Miss Ban. We'll have to check the chat to see what it is. That says it's an it Ivern Ban. Iver that is the ultimate PC Zebra respect ban. Yep. Holy moly. Now, I like uh, one thing I'm also interested in, I kind of want to see what Jack has for the Lulu here. If I was Jack, I'm picking Singed tier. Um, <laughs> for no particular reason. I just want to pick Singed tier. I, I like picking Singed into Enchanters. I, don't um, want I think Singed Jack's going to want to play the Nautilus. I was gonna say Nautilus. Yeah, you just you just click R on the Jinx. Kaisa can mm -hmm. ult if she wants. And they're gonna ban away Seraphine from Jack. What? Or what? Perhaps it's Syndra support and they're banning that away from Seer. Or maybe they think they'll take a jump. I don't know. Jack <laughs> playing Syndra support. You have much too much faith in this. They man. did ban the Ari, so still perhaps thinking that the Syndra might not be going in the mid lane. No, no, they banned. Yeah. Tons of mid picks being covered here. Rise? We love like to see it with the maybe. new Rod of Ages. Wait, actually, Rise buff. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nivea, another one that will benefit greatly from the new row. Yeah, and that'll, mm. I believe that is the third highest mastery champ for Duke's Cube. Actually, hey, pick your comfort, and I believe in it. Clearly, the Ari worked out amazingly last game, so cannot blame it. At all. I will say the Anivia is probably going to be a bit of a challenge to a longer range. Oh, we got a little bit of Hurricane Boy robot as the signature. Oh, yes. The absolute oh, yes. signature pick from Jackie Boy is Thresh. Made an impression his first <laughs> season on it, Whoa. as written about by our very own Roselle. Now I'm pulling uh, out here in the executive. Zed? Emo Whoa. hover. That's for my use of these, these are chill. We're being chilled. Yeah, okay. Okay. Give us ah, something more. Come on. <laughs> There's so many cool picks over there. We ended on Viego, man. Come on, dude. It's cringe. So cringe, man. No, I was saying I, earlier. Give the, me the Kha'Zix. Just the range. Whoa. Thing. Ooh. Kindred. Kindred. Impressive pick here. Lock it. Lock it down. We were Lock talking it. about this earlier, huh, Pablo? The. Were we? Maybe with the new items? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, yeah well, because yeah. they AD is with the new... Uh... Uh-huh. Yeah, this mm -hmm. kind of makes sense. He is going to be locked in, so we are able to go ahead and start up the predictions. Man, oh, man. These are two interesting drafts we're seeing. Um, Orn got banned phase two, which I think is just an excellent ban. Um but obviously Duck Lord back on Sejuani. Everybody else, new picks. <laughs> Something new for everybody in terms of this series. Uh, yeah, and obviously Lulu being the only other champ that was played last game. Everything either banned or, you know, is left it, to the wayside. It, I, I want to, is Andaloth's loincloths an acceptable name alternative? Yeah. Yeah, Eight out of ten. And I think once again, Andalos kind of end up with a slightly better front to back team comp, just with the uh, the Kindred for the team fights. Kindred and Nibia, I think, yeah. just make sure up their comp very well. Um, we're seeing, obviously, I think PC once again has picked a comp that loves just taking these like off balance fights. Um, Tons of pick. Tons of pick. Yeah. The pick is beautiful. You've got the Sejuani, Kaisa, Syndra, Thresh, and Viego's just here to capitalize on these 2v2s, 3v3s. You know, you want to take these uneven, kind of messy fights and turn them into something. And we already saw from game one, PCC was pretty good at those uneven, um, you know, scrappy fights. Saw him take over, had some really, like, just great awareness flashes to get as much CC as possible. So I'm assuming that we're going to see some excellent, excellent, excellent gameplay play. Now, is Viego a potential Shojin user? Is that a is that an idea? Maybe. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm kind of thinking that. I don't know what, what the new items are going to look like. Oh, I've, we've already seen the um, the Sunfire uh, mm -hmm. with the, like, you know, because it's not a Mythic anymore. I guess it's new. Yep, yep, yep. I'd also like to see um, if we're going to see... Uh, there are two things I want to see if Jack builds. One, I want to see if he builds a Radiant Virtue. Maybe not, probably not, because um, I'd imagine Locket and stuff is still better. 
or if he builds a Kim Tech, um, builds the what is it oh, called? Oh, the um, the the Kim Tank. Yeah, Kim Tank, tank Turbo Turbo Kim Tank. Yeah. And now yeah. that it's it is a it's regular a item. Player. Yeah. And it, but it does the same thing. <laughs> it makes you go fast. You know, I was thinking maybe Kaisa is also a Shojin user. Like that's possible, Ooh. right? I thought you were going to say Kaisa is also a Kim Tank user, and I was going <laughs> to agree. Um, I was ready for that. That's what Ruffian's got Flash for. Yeah. He's, I think they'd probably coerce him into building it so he doesn't have to Flash. That's fair. That's fair. Ooh. That being said, there um, is a hundred thousand schmeckles in the pot. Good really? lord. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and a lot of them are on Andalos. Yeah. Yeah, no. Most they they told though well, a lot of the, the chat is like, hey, we we should sway the vote, you know. See, Andalos was able to play that late game to that those kind of that scrappy, very high tempo late game situation to a T, and obviously are now on top of it and gained chat's favor, right? Right? Reasonably so, right? And PC crowd a little weak after game one, you know? They're, they're maybe scared. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have 142k schmuckles. I'm just trying to decide how much to put on the PC here. <laughs> okay. Enough to swing the vote, probably. Oh, uh, no. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll put, I'll put... I'll put 5k in. I think that's fair. I, I may notoriously give really bad schmeckle advice, but I think 60k is the right amount here. Mm, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With is you know what's crazy? Playing, yeah. PC has less money with more voters, like more people. Ten people have put in for PC. Nine people have put in for Mandalox. So Interesting. maybe there's see. some PC traders in the chat somewhere. Oh, definitely. I know Ram Cannon is notoriously known for betting with um, betting to get more money from the spread. But this this time around, it should mean that he puts money on PC. So that certainly is have little enjoyer. And Absolutely. if chat's following what Lachance had predicted, they would go Andaloth because yeah. Andaloth needs to go up 2-0, then go even 2-2, then win. I'm kind of hyped for this uh, bot lane 2v2. I, I haven't seen Jackie Boy on the Thresh in quite a while. And mm -hmm. I think this is a good game for it. There's a pretty immobile lady carry, pretty immobile mid. And a lot of CC on the team. Mm -hmm. And you can try yeah. and punish people. One thing I like to look at when Kindred is picked is how many people can be pushed and rearranged as to where they are. Um, and we see Syndra and Thresh are two characters who can pull people out of that Kindred ult. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I do love the last pick Kindred because it means you can't really, you can't get really shafted over by something like the Gragas, you know? I can't imagine anything's more annoying as a Kindred player than, um, ulting and then watching Gragas cast your entire team out of <laughs> invincibility. Yeah. I'm also really curious what the build is with the new items for Kindred because, uh, I could see a few of the new, uh, new ideas with, especially with like, I've heard people talking about building Ravenous Hydra on like literally everyone. So I'm, I'm yeah. curious about if that's gonna happen. I I would think so unless I there's there was a hot fix nerf for Ravenous mm -hmm. Hydra. I don't know if it's gone through yet. If it has, that might be. It the is reason not. We're not seeing. It has not. I I just double check. It has not. So well, we might see it this game, but I think Viego and Kindred both have pretty defined build paths. I'm not sure where they want to differ. What they want to substitute. What they want to go first, second, third. So I, I think it'll be interesting. Yeah, I think uh, last game was very contentious about it, it was driven really early by the two junglers, and it was contentious over like which lanes got affected the most. A lot of attention being thrown bottom lane. So maybe a little bit more passive uh, in the draft for Andalos, but still a pretty early ganking champion for Zebra. Uh, might sway things a little bit differently this game. I think definitely that's a good place to look. I it's I it is I think as we already talked about a little bit. Get on the Nivia, perhaps you win the fight, but also have two eighty carries to. But yeah, and the Kindred ult too. So getting on is not just enough, right? Right. Although Syndra with the E could potentially yeet someone out of the Kindred ult, right? 
Fresh has Flay. It's not like the Lee Sin hard counter, but there are options for displacement. Yeah, I think if they manage to kick somebody out of the Kindred ulti, it'd be a pretty serious outplay, though. Oh, for sure. But I'm I just given the based on the, the mechanical skill we saw last game, I'm expecting it. Definitely true. Definitely true. Doesn't Viego ult also push you a little bit? A little. A little. A little. <laughs> and imagine. Imagine if it's enough. <laughs> I mean, you remember the um, Zeus parry off of Orn Pillar tech? Admittedly, that's a little more reliable, but anything's possible. God, I would love to have an in person LBLCS event so we can cheer. Just as long as I don't have to sit in a hot tub with Evdingus again. You have to sit in a hot tub with it. That's how we pay for it. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Who's gonna pay to watch that? Are we all in the game, my friends? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kevin. Are you at 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22? 23, 24, 25, yes. 26. Okay, my friend, have a good one. <laughs> uh, I guess we already said to run. Miniature Hobbit may have just fat fingered the cleanse. No one saw it. It's a bug. Visual bug. Visual bug. Got it. Visual bug. Definitely not going to affect them at all. We see Zebra going the green uh, pet on Viego. Kind of interesting. I guess the tenacity is just that useful. It yeah. seems like it. I want to go get a um, chili dog, so... Um, Huge? Yeah. You got a chili dog, and you didn't bring, like, multiple for me? Mm -hmm. No. Got your own chili dog, just for you? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's kind of messed up, you know? So I'm sitting here, you say that, and I really want a chili dog now, and... Well, do you have chili? I, I could make chili, it takes a little while. Do you have hot dogs? I mean, this is a yeah. five-game series, and we're, we're at game one, so, you know. You see lots of pings coming out a, here. A gliz oh, he's a little, the glizzy wow. toaster? Yeah. With the, the buns? He's got, like, a little shoot. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's so cool. Glizzy toaster, uh, brought to you by the low-budget LCS. Get yours for this holiday season. I'm wow. sure that's a sponsorship we want to seek, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Also, 100%. probably a good Christmas gift, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you know someone likes um, hot dogs, I, love hot dogs, I imagine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I imagine that's actually a really good gift. Like, amazing gift. It, it is a very one-purpose tool, I will say. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a gimmick, you know. But it's like it's like getting like if you know someone who like uses the oven a lot, but doesn't like the hassle and the smell. Or like, you know, someone who like uses oh, a fryer a lot. Oh, look at that's a trade, but Jack. not quite gonna be able to find it. Jack gonna be in a little bit of trouble here. Miniature Hobbit and Brad Dad just throwing down the dips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say that was a suboptimal uh trade and some movement there, you know. It's a... But you know, the the den and the lane they're okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, having a rough time with these trades against the uh, Duck Lord on that Sejuani. I'm a little surprised to see the Sejuani coming through again. Kind of thought it would be a ban after the first game. Yeah, but I mean, I, I do think there's probably a limit to what they want to let through from those first three rotations, especially since they, they did end up winning the first game, albeit, you know, mm -hmm. a little bit coin flippy <laughs> at the end there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was close. It was close. <laughs> it was close. As we see an almost full jungle clear coming out here from Zebra. Wazok skipping two whole camps. Yeah. I, I'd imagine they probably left Sejuani up because to them, I think the Sejuani's effectiveness was catching people out. If they're more careful about the positioning and kind of keep things in mind from here on out, they can probably avoid... They can probably avoid um, it giving them so had, much trouble. They also had Trundle as an answer in game one. Mm -hmm. They don't really have that available. You're gonna be able to just walk towards their jungle here. Um, so this is an interesting point with the the green pet for uh, zebra here and Merlin guy in the chat. Um, I don't think it's Sunfire Viego, but perhaps Tank Viego into Blade of the Rune King or Blade of the Rune King into Tank as is more normal. They're gonna look top here. 
Stun is going to land on Aeros. Ducklord going to be looking to get the passive down. It is already going to be proc'd, but good pull away going to mean that Aeros will live to fight another day. Yeah, Aeros, uh, I've seen a, a couple trades that kind of went slightly in favor of Ducklord. Ooh, it's there. But actually still up farm on that uh, on that Mordekaiser in the top side. Yeah. It does mm -hmm. have a big wave pushing in, so it's going to even out a little bit. But... Okay, well, no. I'm actually interested because I've been playing a lot more support recently, so I have to ask Mighty, who is, I assume is playing support like all the time. Um, do okay, you also. <laughs> I'm just saying. But when you're playing hook supports, oh, wow, what a scatter of the week. Woo! She was barely escaped. Bonsok <laughs> was looking. I was going to say, when I... you're playing like hook or heavy skill shot supports, do you like miss like the first 10? But then, like, after that 10, you just start hitting everything? Yeah, or is it just only like, to get in their heads. I want them to believe that I can't hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Now, I, I think a lot of uh, what happens in lane is you don't have those opportunities to just walk up and play so often without taking a face full mm -hmm. of damage. Um, but when, you, when you're able to, like, get a slow or something down beforehand, it's much easier to run the hook. Mm-hmm. So you, you can see that a lot. Oh, I was not here. Gonna be able to use the cleanse that is back up from earlier. Good play, but the root is found onto Ruffian. Ruffian taking so much damage, but the lantern goes 10,000 miles. I saw two flashes there. Just one. Flash Just... of uh, Jackie Boy and Brad Dud. No. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I got I think confused it was a... by the hex flash. Hold down. A huge, 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 like a pretty good awareness call from Jack would to be like, hmm, I need to build as much distance between me and this lantern before Ruffian grabs it, so that it is harder for them to catch him. And how to do that? Pressure flash button. <laughs> that arguably might build the most distance in, a, at any point in time. Yeah, that's why really you got the heck flash too. Just able to use mm -hmm. that when you need to. Don't be too worried about it. We will see a pretty sizable CS advantage coming okay. before Miniature oh. Hobbit and it's... Uh-oh. Hey, Ross, Duck looking Lord to abuse cool. Ducklord here with the ultimate. Ducklord will be able to find the stun, though. Takes a Decimate Smash to the face anyway, but stalls it out long enough. It does mean they will be healthy, but they are going to go down about 20 CS. Zebra looking to take this dragon here. Will get caught out by the Zapper. I wonder if they try to dive on this top lane before their level 6 is grabbed. There's a, a huge oh. wave here. Yeah, no, Kindred is trading not. Kills would be pretty good. Yeah, for Eros, I'd imagine we'll definitely look for it. Has two levels. I can't imagine he thinks this is a bad idea in any manner. But might not go for it. Doesn't want to risk trading for no reason, right? Yeah, now that the six is here, it's just not really going to happen. Yeah, definitely not a good idea now. Okay, ooh, Flash. Going to be forced out there from Doot Scoot. I really like saying Dude Scoot. This Wazak is going to come behind here. We'll be <laughs> spotted out. Cat boy. Oh, going to miss no. the hook there. Wazak going to stay in the area Good perhaps idea. for another couple seconds here. As uh, Viego is doing a bit of the counter jungling. But mm -hmm. stacks going to be even on the jungle items here. Yeah, I do, I do like this decision, even though it's a little bit slower to counter jungle. Now. I guess it's not even slower, right? It's just it's, it's the same. yeah, it's the same speed. It's just slower in comparison to your own jungle. Oh, there it goes. The ultimate is gonna get the passive out, but can see or get the actual damage. Finds one Q, but won't be enough. We are gonna be forced off of that one. Might going through from Wazak. Seer maybe wants to take the fight. Besides, not to doesn't know that Eros is in the area. That's level seven versus level five. We're gonna see what happens. Death Realm not gonna be available. Seer using Scatter of the Week. Everyone's going to be able to get away just burning the flash on Zebra. That is best case scenario. <laughs> no one else dying there. Yeah, a little sketchy. You take that and you run with it. And I think uh, Dute getting the passive burned when they had no mana isn't so bad for them either because they're just going to come back to lane after a recall either way. Right? Ooh! That getting pretty punished here. If Minutra Hobbit, Hobbit ticks to six, it could be a potential kill angle. We can make it that though. Yeah, not that close to six, I think. But well, I can't Lou tell. Is already six, so maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, just hit just six, yeah. But you know, Jack gets home in time. <laughs> Jack is going safe. Exactly. We do see a couple big CS advantages for the side of Andalos uh, Claus at this point, but being answered by Seer in the mid lane isn't going to yeah. amount to too much of a gold lead. A little over a thousand at this point. 
And this is gonna. This looks like it's gonna be one of those series where both mid laners are just. It's happy. gonna be gonna be found, but Wazak now games. gonna be looking perhaps to dive topside. Does have the Kindred ultimate, so can perhaps Ooh, save themselves. But... I don't know how much I like the potential dive here, but this. Oh, they are gonna drop the herald. It is. So they're gonna look for plates perhaps instead. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna look to. Okay, show. they're gonna start tanking. That's gonna be a couple shots there oh, for Aeros. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, Wazak. Forced to use the uh, ultimate out there. The as PC That's are going to get themselves want. the first dragon. You give up the Drake. You give some places to Mordekaiser. Yeah, but you also you give up the Drake. You don't kill Sejuani. She has the TP. Oh, there's going to be a fight over top scuttle. Mm. Yes, yeah, TP coming there. back. That's going to be two v three right now. Okay, they are backing off both sides. Kindred actually going to take a recall, probably just giving this yeah. one over. Yeah. Not interested in like dying over a scuttle, which I think is I reasonable. Did. You would do it. Well, oh, they yeah. have no, they have no mana on Manivia, right? So it's effective. Oh, brutal bollocks. You seen this before? <laughs> yeah, it's not. That is the unfortunate look of that threshold maybe you look for like a flash play play afterwards but you kind of just have to hold that one i think that might be the most like unfortunate death yeah now you're just reaching. um most much unfortunate type of um honestly oh, you know goodness. you just laugh that one off and say it was pretty close though <laughs> it was it was pretty close yeah. smile at your adc and say ah, it was close Good, yeah, these might be a little bit of the tilt hooks after. I mean, <laughs> these are the, the the hooks are aimed at Jinx, just Dead like off. not hitting. Yeah, we do see though, uh, interestingly enough, a mirrored CS difference in mid and bot. PC have the 30 CS advantage in mid, and they are down the 30 CS advantage in bot. Oh, that was a good That's hook. That good. was like actually like a curve around the minion hook. I can't believe that. Yeah, so <laughs> um, the punch. Might be a little bit of trouble. Wazak coming in through here in the mid lane. That's be one can the mountain dread land. Flash is forced out. Yeah, close call. Oh, oh super mega death oh, rocket oh. from downtown gets miniature hobbit first blood. Eleven minute first blood. I mean, and it's gonna go to Miniature Hobbit, and that's a pretty damn good play, I think. Yeah, that's about as bad for series as you can get there. Ooh, Duck Lord might get in yeah. trouble, but here comes Zebra. He's gonna be able to find a killer throne. Looking for a stun as they do have the resets. Uses the wall, but not gonna be able to do too much more. Use the ult to go forward. We'll find the slow. That's just gonna be the one. Okay, Mimi yeah. coming back here. That's Zebra a lot gonna of be available. Work. Zebra looking to go forward, looking to do damage. Gavin the Week not gonna land these fights on a knife edge. Miniature Hobbit alone down here. But first turret gets taken solo by the well, I guess not solo. There was, you know, the whole kindred play up there, but you know. Goes down. Mm -hmm. Twelve minutes. Yeah, and in spite of all that's happened, there is actually a pretty sizable gold advantage now for Andalos boss. So we're seeing some of that uh top lane aggression, that that herald usage. All coming mm -hmm. to factor in here. That got the bot lane lead. Okay. A lot Let's of see if Duck Lord can live on this one. That's one isolated decimate smash. Passive is stacking is gonna get pulled back. Wazak gonna be here to try Ooh, and receive flash. it. Oh, Duck Lord able to flash over the wall. Wazak flashing forward. Duck Lord Q not quite available. Mounting dread picks it up. Wazak gets yeah. a kill. Nice play yep. from Wazak in the right place at the right time, and uh, I think that was probably some good communication as well from this uh, part of Eros. Saying, hey, mm -hmm. got this guy ulted. He might flash away. Come on over. Free kill. Yeah, and that's exactly what they do, yeah. Really easy and good punish from them. And 30 CS up in the top lane. 30 CS up in the bot lane. We're seeing first items come. We're seeing mythics come through for the side of Andalos. They're in a pretty clear lead here. That being said, Syndra and Viego keeping pace. Um, and in Sindra's case, being ahead of their counterpart, both have the ability to turn fights on their heads. Am I seeing Sejuani's build right? Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Is this to Roa? Yeah, that's a catalyst of Aeons. <laughs> this is, is that. Wait. Roa Sejuani? 
Like, yeah, I was like, that's Catalyst of Aeons. That's going to be a lot of ages is coming out from Sims 1. Late game? I, I don't think you ever 1v1 board late game, personal opinion. And I feel like I something like... That. So interesting here. Okay, we're going to see three. Oh! Beautiful play. Isn't it about turret? Not quite going to fall yet. Mini Trauma taking so much damage. Will fall down in the end. That's a thousand gold. Going to go over. That's another reset. PC Zebra looking to go absolutely insane here. Aeron's going to be slowed a little bit. There goes the Glacial Prism. Not quite going to find it. Him. But here comes the ultimate. Sejuani passive stacking up is going to be found underneath the turret. Are they going to be able to tank? Jungly aggro. They're going to call off that one. Jackie Boy going to be pulled back. Decimate Smash does quite a bit here. That might be mm -hmm. where this fight levers off. Hey, yep, but that is... Thing. if you're Yeah, but if you're PC, you're 110% fine with that. Two kills on Tier Fieca. You, This is the exact guy you were trying to get ahead. And would you look at that? Things are looking up for this side of the game. Yeah, okay, we're gonna see a fight over the Drake. That's gonna be Super Mega Death Rocket coming down. Oh, there's the oh, Ginger Doll. Drake can't die! He's not gonna be able to go. Drake is invulnerable. Seer picks it up with the Scatter of the Week, but now they're gonna find so much damage. Eros doing a ton in the middle of this fight. Jackie Boy walking up, trying to save, trying to find the Lantern, but he just finds his death. Dragon goes over to the Panther Core, but five kills and a Quadra kill go over to Eros. Jeez Louise, what a fight for Andalox Plus. You're, I mean, you're you're stuck in the pit with Mordekaiser. You've got the Riftmaker stats, 10 stack Dark Seal now. Everything is looking up for the guy because he's basically about to get off all the damage he wants and so, we're, we saw it there. Chat makes a good point. The Catalyst of Aeons doesn't just build into Roa, it also oh. builds into Abyssal Mask. Hmm. Oh, that's I... actually kind of good. Yeah, I was like, I forgot that item existed. <laughs> I will not lie. Totally forgot that item existed. Um, how did PC get Drake? Scattered a week. Though. That's how. Yeah, scattered a week from Seer. Um, Good timing. Huge, huge, huge week, flood. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful scattered a week from Seer. Now, we do see that the Drake stacking starting to come in for PC, but there's a pretty big gold lead. They can't really mm -hmm. be ignored for mm -hmm. Andalos at this point. Yeah. And, you know, they're going to have to really start, I'd say, respecting them and respecting that weed. Especially on that Mordekaiser. That is oh, not yeah. something that you Guy is massive. Yeah. Okay. The dude is huge. Without a doubt. Now, see, the rotation looks like it's going to be Anivia side laning down bot. I don't know if they're going to keep this, as it seems like a point of vulnerability, but... Mm -hmm. Definitely want to be splitting this uh, Mordekaiser up that top side. And it is indeed Abyssal Mask. Happy to see that Abyssal Mask is also returning. Yeah. That was such a cool. I, I love the look there from PC, prepping all your tools in case you can find the hook, find the pick. Just not mm -hmm. quite coming through. Mm -hmm. Another hook just going a little, a little shy. Oh. Yeah. Well, well this feels is... like they're pushing pretty far forward with no Mordekaiser. Look but at I what happens to your tank when there's two ADCs and you had to build MR. Yep. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure Duck Lord is thinking about the fact that it's like I wish I could build literally anything else right now. <laughs> but wrong. instead But also it's like the immediate answer for this Mordekaiser, right? So you can't you can't really build anything else right now. Yeah, I think honestly though, even though it sucks, you just have to keep Duck Lord in the same lane. Mm -hmm. you just try to hold this. Yeah, are you doing a good job so far? That in him turret not gonna fall quite yet. Mhm. Mm it is the Abyssal Mask. I like the new. The, the, the new, new look is very nice. Yeah. It 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 feels very Shadow Islesy, right? Yeah, okay. Rightfully. Zebra is going to be able to find a stun here on a Dude Scooter. Dude Scooter going to take so much damage. Ult in from Ruffian. Does have the passive, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. Dude Scooter going to fall down. On top of that's going to be the reset. Oh. Wall not quite going to be oh, there. The but Will Brock, okay, oh, going to go forward onto Mini Drawbrit. Zebra looking for the damage. Uses an actual ultimate. Wasak not quite going to be able to find it. Zebra is going to go into the Death Realm. Is currently, but <gasps> uses the ultimate to get out yeah. over the wall. And Aeros now does not have ultimate. Wazak going to be forced to ult by the Lulu. Keeps alive for now, but Wazak's critically low. Flash forward, Zebra finds another stun. Another flame oh. back from Jackie Boy. And they are going to be able to find it. Jackie Boy takes one too many turret oh. shots, and he will fall as the recompense. But it is going to be a clean sweep for Panther Core. Five for one.
What a fight. What a fight. What a fight. It starts with Zebra saying, yeah, I know I fucked up the wall. It doesn't really matter. Jumps over the wall. It's the by, I'd imagine, a few pixels the Kindred ult misses Jinx, I can guarantee you, if that ult hits Jinx, that fight's a lot different. Because now your yeah. Mordecai is able to walk in, cause a lot of problems, and you might not get Jinx. But, gets Jinx ult over the wall, away from Mordecai, outside of the Death Realm, we see a we see them make a huge decision you jump on the kindred you force out the other ult and you're able to push in and get so much off the back of that fight they get gold <laughs> they're they're still down obviously but they get gold they get the ability to contest and fight these other members and they show if these fights aren't perfect aren't and they aren't to the t as much as one mistake from Andalos Klaus, they can pounce on that so easy with the Viego, with the Sejuani, with the Syndra, with the Kaisa, with the Thresh. <laughs> Definitely prefer these comps where they can thrive in the chaos. They absolutely mm. love those messy fights. Yeah. Drag mm. gonna be the inside track here for the side of Andalos Klaus. It's gonna be burning incredibly fast. 3k, 2k, smite range gonna be gone. Red team. Not even interesting. Dragon. Hey, that you know what? They're up two drag. drakes. Mm -hmm. Is this preseason gonna have like the increased chance for Kenpec while this is like new? I don't think so. I, don't know. Are I, can, I can look. Yeah. I can is look it just them. only Chemtech? I don't think it's sure. only Chemtech, but they, the last time they did this they had increased chances for the new tools, right? It doesn't it didn't doesn't say anything in the patch notes. So we can assume it's not true. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, even if uh, three games in a row, it's a little yeah, if we get it three games in a row, maybe we'll consider it. But um, yeah. Yeah. it does happen. We've had we've had multiple series, uh, especially Hova. Who has uh, no? Ooh, Aeros is going to use the ultimate. Zebra going to be able to dodge out the decimating smash. He uses the ultimate. Wow. But Aeros is incredibly tanky. He's trying to burn through the health bars. He's going to come back alive, but we're going to switch back to bot lane. Duck Lord going to get stunned up, but oh. Doop Scooter is so Doop. low. Duck Lord, though, Doop. ticking down, gets taken, and Doop Scooter finds the counter kill. Zebra, though, now able to take the body and soul of Aeros. I. I. I Do, yeah. I'd imagine Duck is. The back is right now. Like you're kidding me. I didn't kill. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same if I'm top laner. Yeah, it was just like, man. Maybe there's a miss. Maybe there's like a missed W there. Maybe you're just like need to not cancel an auto there. But alas, Sejuani dies. Anivia does not. One win for the fairly ordinary guy. Ooh. Yeah, looking pretty good. And also, I can't believe how long Eros survived that top lane of the game. Yeah. Obviously very fed, but still, that was four people. Oh, there it is. Yeah, very Brad Dad getting taken incredibly oh. low. They're going to be able to pick that one up, and Zebra coming in for the back end. Where did Zebra even come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he actually just walked all the way around. <laughs> and He's just going on tour there. with the cutest little green dragon. Oh, my God. It is the cutest, right? So true. Yeah. He, he is quite cute. I don't know, well, I don't know if it's the cutest that. or just the most. And they're gonna do it. Yeah, they're gonna burn and this one down pretty fast here. Jack's Jack. playing defender. Okay, he's gonna see Kindred here. Flashes over the wall. Kindred not gonna look for the steal. That is just hey. gonna go over the side of Panthercore. Who have evened up the gold fifth. Yeah. They're taking these quick fights, getting picks when they can, and turning those into objectives. They got the two mid turrets, they got the drakes, um, and now they've gotten a Baron. The question is, what are they going to do with that Baron? Because I really don't think they can siege against this Endalos Claw. This no, Endalos Claw. Yeah, it's it's going to be very range, difficult. ADC and the Jinx and Nivea, uh, yeah, I imagine it's going to be difficult, but they might use it to try to get lane shoving and then look for picks. Look for rotations in the jungle. Try to capitalize on these kind of the minute movements because they know these movements are going to be made. We're talking about, I, I'm not the biggest fan of like, this is, we're talking about blank league here, but this is executive. Right? We're going to see proper rotations come through. We're going to see people look to set up. We're going to look for people to be certain places at certain times. So 
when even that having being said, said that, we have seen mm -hmm. a little bit of disrespect for Mandalas, especially this game, over the day. Hey, Wazak should be stuck yeah, up here, and that's so much damage forcing out the Kindred Ultimate. That's you. <laughs> He's out! Kind of like God, that. I love Lantern Ult. God, I love Thresh Lantern. As a jungler oh. who likes to gank people, Whoa. I hate when Thresh Lantern just shows up in their lane and they say bye bye. <laughs> But also, as a jungler who likes to gank people, wouldn't you love it if you went to gank a lane and then a, a lantern shows up behind you and you're like, bye bye? My support doesn't really play the crash, so. Yeah, unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever played with a thresh that has done that for me, actually. That does not strike hmm. any kind of memory. Ooh, so you're gonna have to be careful. It's stunned up, not gonna turn it too much, though. Ducklord just gonna be matching here in the top lane, but your hobbit is nearby, potentially. Aeroth, that yeah. shield is so fat. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. They're sending like three people here, but like, <laughs> well, they've got two people bought. But they don't really know it'll... if I understand miniature Hobbit being up there. Yeah. I think they were thinking maybe you can kill Ducklord using Aeroth and... and then go for the inhib. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's kind of a Reversing. goofy play, though. Not, not the, yeah, uh, that is a very right, goofy yeah. play. You're relying on Ducklord not realizing, like, oh man, I'm pretty down. It looks like he's going to build a... What is that? Um, could be like Ooh, a nice setting up a trap. That's, That's gonna be a one beautiful one. <laughs> That's a four-man oh. play. They're gonna go in. Tons of damage going around. Watch Wazak and Brad dead. They're going incredibly low on the back end. Ruffian goes in the back side. They're gonna find the two. Now there's only gonna be three left on the side. That's gonna be one picked up. Zebra can inherit the soul of the strongest member on the side of Andalot's Claws, and they're almost certainly gonna get this third drink. Miniature hey, Hobbit gonna go a little bit too far forward. That. Uses a Super Mega Death Rocket, but that might be their fate, their doom. Here comes the 80 carry, and that is clinical. Remember when we were talking about how Jack was having a tough start to this game? Yeah. <laughs> not Has anymore. not slowed him down. <laughs> that's, that's and oh. oh, there's the oh, yeah. prison under the turret. Passive is going to proc, but I don't think that'll matter. They've got the damage, and Duck Lord has the tank. You will be unnamed. PC. The, the most sure thing about PC is that you could. It feels like you could punch them directly in the mouth, and they're just going to go the same play over and over again. And really aggressive dives, just really great plays. And I mean, obviously, we're seeing a lot of just aggression from Zebra, from Duck Lord, from Ruffian, from um, Jack. And obviously, the calm of the storm has been Seer. But even then, we've seen him make some pretty dastardly plays. <laughs> Yeah, and I was going to say, a lot of people don't know this, but Ruffian's best champ by far, in my opinion, is this Kaisa. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe this is a really but... good performance. Yeah, I'd say Samir and Kaisa, but it's his, those are the ADCs that incline him to do go, the go, thing go, he's go, known go. for. To yeah. go. <laughs> if you're letting a player like Ruffian go, have the instinct to say, I want to make this move, I want to take over here wow that's so disgusting um just watching that happen just um, holding the patience for it too that's mm -hmm. like, you know interesting play from the duo there <laughs> the solo laners man they 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 work against the jungler at all times um that like means. Still more at odds the after like a second rotation mm -hmm. oh yeah Sears definitely more at odds with the bot lane. that's for sure they are looking to fight this for sure and this Zebra's is kind of, looking to be the first here. They yep. can get out of this. This is kind of good macro, though, from, uh, mm -hmm. from Andalos. And they need yeah. something like this, because they've had a lot of uh, messy, you know, getting caught mm -hmm. out plays, and just, like, not really respecting where they need to. And I think one of the mm -hmm. problems they're finding is that last game they had a much beefier frontline, and they mm -hmm. just don't have that, that CC and frontline to set up front-to-back fights anymore. So they've got to be more cautious. Mm-hmm. Yep. And another thing is, is that they haven't gotten those front-to-back team fights that we're talking about, right? They're getting caught in their jungle, trying to enter and fight for Drake Vision. They're getting caught in the mid lane. Their PC is, as you can see with their movement, is not giving them any room to breathe and do things normally. Yeah, this might actually be a good angle from the back here. Like yeah, any CC, they're going. Gonna be maybe two or three kills. That's a good wall blocking good wall. it off, though. They're, they're not done. No, really oh, will we see it? 
Flash Come forward, on. hook not gonna land. Okay. There goes the Glacial President, that will land hey. on support. Going forward, Ruffy oh, looking to do the damage self, all for Brad Dad, but that is gonna be a deletion. They right now, the Enderwasp is pushing all lanes, though. Dude, they're pushing all lanes. They're making sure things are getting done across the map. We're going to see it back from Duck Lord, I don't think. I think the Baron's a very risky play here. You might give up chunks of your base for that. Um, yeah, maybe what? they believe the Duck Lord can just kind of hold this, but... Yeah, okay. They're going to send Viego. They're sending three. Thresh is running behind. Very split map right now. Wazek's still on the bot mm -hmm. side. Yeah, they're, but they are going to go for that. I wonder... Okay, they should be able to do this quite fast. You essentially have two ADCs smacking it up, right? But they're gonna give up, I'd imagine, both the inhib and the inhib for this. Uh... That's at least. That's at least yeah. Oh, can we get a kindred stack check? Okay, that's gonna be a hook landing there on the Aeros. Oh, they're fighting it though. Ultimate going down. Duck Lord gonna be the one in trouble. Miniature Hobbit forced to back away. This could be the game if they lose. Duck Lord um, taking so much know. damage, but Aeros, you don't want to be here. Yeah. He is so low, and that is gonna be Mordekaiser falling. All right. I don't know if this is correct, but three. Three kindred sacks? That seems yeah, low. I can check. It says three. Yeah, that's three. Kindred has completed three hunts. <laughs> that is where it stands. Oh, and we'll go here. We can check. <laughs> we can check. We can check. Kindred just kill it so, we're, so we can see. Yeah, just increase the force. She has four hunts. <laughs> that is All right. That is what well, it is. Well, she does get her first range increase, right? At four. Mm -hmm. ah, that is really rough, though. Yeah, that is very, very, very rough. But it um, does look like Chemtech's like, oh, soul. Is walking down mid. Yeah? I it think that was like... mostly to cover for the Seer TP. Mm. But okay, maybe okay. they're choosing to just go mid instead of going for the Strike here in 16. Hey. Dude Scooter gonna be pushed away. Dude Scooter gonna be oh. stunned up. That's gonna be a go in. Jack's Dawn going. gonna be forced to use. Jack is in a little bit deep though, and he is gonna fall. Wazak though gets absolutely deleted by Seer. Zebra Sorry. taking a ton of damage. Zebra. The scatter of the week is so huge. Seer is doing massive chunks of damage here. Eros yeah. going forward looking and to do it. Be really by the damage. Death Realm not here. available. Stopwatch gonna be burned there, but you are gonna fall on the rotation, my friend. Yep. Now 3-4 still left alive versus the 3 on the side of Andalox Claws. Miniature Hobbit trying to do the damage, trying to thin the wave, but it, it's barrened up and it is strong. Ghosts have to be very smart about this. No, they're just that going wide. I was going to say, they have to be smart about this. Yep, Zebra though is going to be able to find Miniature Hobbit. Miniature Hobbit forces the flash away. But it's going to find quite a bit of damage here. Duck Lord not quite going to be able to find the sun. Miniature Hobbit looking to kite. Brad Dad looking to support their ADC. That's going to be a stun. That's going to be a kill yeah. for the Poro no Rider, says Juani. Seer's no going to find... Shot. Nope, it's going to go over to Duck Lord as well. And they are falling. They are in shambles. Wazok respawns. Zebra might be in a little bit of trouble here. Does fall down. But Wazok has to stand strong against the scatter of the week. <laughs> PC Seer absolutely <laughs> deleting. Okay. What? Jesus. I guess oh, that's what Deathcap that does for you. Seer, though, gonna take a ton of damage here, but the Nexus is gonna fall. And that yeah. is gonna even out this series score one to Got one. Got ourselves a series, boys. I Ooh, feel boy. for Hobbit so much at the end there, because I'm pretty sure those autos onto Sejuani were like the first real auto attacks that they got that whole game. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'd imagine it's been a very difficult game for Schmackles. Um, and <laughs> I think it was very funny that a bunch of the Andalos Colossus players came into chat and was like, you guys gotta bet on us this time. Mm. And um, looking at the outcome of this game. Yeah, I, I hate to be right about these things, but um, <laughs> I did say. The game won. that, that one, wins one game win. one is gonna lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw. Win. All right, we saw I am big, gonna run a win. commercial so casters could do um, mm -hmm. things. Okay. A six pack of beer is just a six pack of beer. But a six pack of coriander? Now that's something to celebrate. Carefully crafted with one main ingredient, one signature flavor, coriander transcends hops and multiple barley. With our new easy to open bottles, you'll be able to slug down a sixer faster than you could ever want to. So grab a friend and raise a glass to craftsmanship. Because a coriander shouldn't be enjoyed alone. It's the only beverage of true refreshment. Coriander beer. It takes two to tango.
I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, they mm. are our, the official sponsor of the Low Budget LCS in Coriander Beer. Ice Cold Coriander. Perfect for watching a game. Your team. Um, yeah, but we, we've got 1-1 one, one is the series score. Um, I should probably put something on my, uh, my in-game client that says, like, this is the score. Um, I know I hypothetically have an overlay to do that, but, um, that's, that's too high budget for, for me personally. We can't afford that kind of tech. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Overlay? Mm -hmm. Nah. Nah. <laughs> well, I mean, overlay. I think we literally do have the tech. Um, I just, I just haven't put it in myself. <laughs> right. It's not your fault. It's because Nasty Buggle keeps hoarding all the stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I definitely don't just, like, actually have them and just literally haven't, like, imported the images into my OBS. That's definitely not it. <clears throat> yeah, don't mess with my narrative here, man. I'm trying to make <laughs> Buggle look like the bad guy. <laughs> okay. I'm fucking up the narrative here. All right, man. if you are Andalox Cloths, what do you do? Do you revert to your game one pick ban style? Do you just go back on blue side? What are, you, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you taking? If I want to pick Caitlyn and Jinx, I'm buying more tanks. Yeah. I was like, you just... I don't even think their... Their draft this game wasn't even that bad. Um, it's just, do you know... They didn't get the front to backs they really, really, really wanted with this comp, right? And we, even when they kind of did... We saw that lack of front line get put it out. Maybe you replace the Mord with a more traditional tank. Because the fun thing about Mord being a frontliner is that Mord disappears. Some at some point in the fight, Mord will disappear. He's gonna disappear yeah. somewhere else with some with, and of course he's taking someone with him, but if he's your only frontline, then you're essentially playing a frontline list fight. And there is so much dive and pick on the side of PC Ghost that being like, oh, but they're never going to get a chance to dive onto a Nivea like with a Lulu. It's like, they're going to get there. <laughs> Even in a perfect universe, there's not enough CC in the world to stop Kaisa Thresh Viego from getting into the back line. And Sejuani. Like, one of them's going to get in there, at least. And that's going to open the way for the others. So I think you buy a little more frontline, Maybe I think picking the Mordekaiser is fine. You just have to, I think, have a nicer draft for it. They're bringing in another sub. Oh. Another one? Yes. They have, it seems like they're subbing out the Brad Dad and putting in Bofa. Bofa, yeah. That's Bofa. a great name, by the way. A lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, oh, yeah, my Bofa. God. Hey, <laughs> they're, they're trying to figure out what works, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm interested to see. Yeah, I, I think uh, from here. maybe against a different comp, it, a lot of these ideas that they were going with in game two could have worked. But, you know, with three vulnerable backliners against that much CC, you really can't afford to have a, have that sort of situation. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Uh, I feel like we are getting got a little bit in the chat. Box. I mean, it, of course, I, we all knew that, that that's what line. that was. Yeah. We all knew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, we're going to say the name. <laughs> <laughs> we can't not. Although I would love the dedication of Duke to come here every time he hears us say it and just say both of these nuts. I would love that. I, I, I would be a big fan of that. Yeah, it's, it's that good. Exactly. commitment to the bit. Yeah, yeah, I want to see commitment to the bit. We value that a lot here. I'm curious what the uh, what the side selection will be here. Probably blue side once again. Or um, oh, have they picked? Looks like, and it looks like it they... should be Andalos pick, and I expect them to pick blue, which it looks like they did. Yeah. Yes. Which means I need to switch things back again. Thanks, gamers. <laughs> it's gonna be like World's Final where they just swap every game and whoever's uh whoever's blue should win, except hold on, DRX goes crazy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now who's Beautiful. DRX in this scenario? I, I, I would argue it's Panther Core since Andalot's Cloths did in fact win last season. They weren't called yeah, Andalot's Cloths last season, they were called Brad's Dads, but you know. Brad's Chads. Brad's Chad's dads. I don't know. I um, something like that 
Yeah, exactly. You get one of these teams is Cloud Nine and it's PC. Oh, you're saying they're Cloud Nine? Answer. Yeah, I don't know where or when, but one of these teams is Cloud Nine and it's PC. Hmm. I am. I I will say um, the only. Thing that has changed since last season for PC Ghost is that ruffians here, and PC Ghost have already won one more game um, mm. than they did last year, which is infinitely more than you know they have. Did they won. also lose more games though. That's the question. No, they um, got three out. Oh, that's right. You're talking about just the final. I thought you were talking about over the course of the whole season. No, no, yeah, just the final. They got three out. Unfortunate stuff. So subbing out. So I expect Panther Corps here to drop the Bard ban. Yeah. Yeah. Unless I can't see a world where they ban Bard again. <laughs> yeah. But maybe, maybe they do. Maybe that's their vibe. I mean, if, if it's not the Brad Dad's part, I don't think you care. So true. And we're in the draft. Mm hmm. Let's see. Uh, definitely expecting still Belva, right? Mm -hmm. Silas. No. Seriously, not playing the Silas unless something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there aren't enough bands in the world to let that Silas through. Yeah, I, I didn't even know when Seer became like Zeka, but apparently he's he's there already. I mean, Silas is just a really good champ. Like, true. It's, it's pretty hard to uh, find a good lane encounter for it too. So, mm -hmm. especially I feel and, like and in that same of... universe. I can't imagine Miniature Hobbit is playing Twitch. No, that's not happening. <laughs> that's definitely not happening. Belveth so Band is going to come through. What, what's going to happen with this? Because uh, we had Syndra be a, a priority. Didn't really um, didn't really get picked what? up by Andalos, but maybe it'll get banned here. Also Sejuani. And I'd imagine, are they going to leave up the Trundle or are they going to leave up the Syndra? I think Syndra really Band makes sense. Syndra Band would make the most sense here. To oh, me. not Sejuani. I meant Trundle. Did I say Trundle? Yeah, you said, Trundle. You you said Trundle. Okay, I thought I said Sejuani for a second. I'm just tripping. No, I was talking See? about Sejuani. I'm just being weird. No, 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 you're fine. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> okay. What is the red side third band? Trundle is no going to be the band. I, I expect Syndra yeah. going to be first pick here. Yep, Absolutely. First pick immediately. Okay, so Vex pretty quickly answer. Sejuani too, yeah. Yep. <laughs> They're picking this Sejuani. <laughs> says, all right, Duck, here you go. Yep, it's like, Duck, it's up. Give it to him. Oh. Why not? Well, once again, they're hovering it for a while now. They're probably using it to discuss. I, I've done this before where you know what you're going to pick, but you don't lock it in, so mm -hmm. you can give yourself more time to decide what you're picking next to it. Yeah, they might be just discussing mid or jungle here, and probably mm -hmm. I think they know what they want mid, unless they're thinking Ari as well. But you know, I'm also I wouldn't I you know I uh, made a certain bet with someone you don't know. Um, I don't know. I think Papo, but you were here for that. Or maybe it was Buggle that was here for that. Or Ari gonna come, and through. we're gonna see the Ari Gauntlet yeah. stone down. With Not Timo once than again. You. Very sad. Not Timo. Yeah, very sad. But hey, I this made could the be Ari jungle. With, um, ooh, Whoa. immediate shin top, shin Whoa. Viego. Hey, they said you guys like the skirmish. We'll skirmish. We'll skirmish with you this time. Then Shin Viego with the Syndra, they're gonna want to take these slow fights. So now I'm looking towards the jungle, towards the bot lane. What are we going to do? Are we going to pick something that scales well? Are we going to pick something that skirmishes well, or are they going to kind of just look to play the field as it comes to them? But I'd imagine they're gonna. Oh, Caitlin, pick away. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. Okay, so I was going to say we're very likely going to see something different out of the bot lane for Andalos Kloss. A little bit more mobility, mm -hmm. probably, or safety. Um, and the answer to that is just going to be Caitlyn takeaway on the other side. Will be interesting. What jungle bet? Yeah, I'm also, uh, yeah, Zebra will have to play a new, a unique champ here. Um, Zebra. Is the great. jungler for PC? Ivern's open. open, of open. course. It might get bad. Uh, but... might get bad. I think Graves seems uh, kind of good. Oh, Graves would not be half bad here. Um, I think I think he's going to be on another character pick. I think that's for sure. 
I don't think there's a game we're gonna see in this series where Zebra's relegated to like Ramus duty. Um, Do you see the Ivern Ben? Mm -hmm. Ivern Ben. Yeah, the only way Zebra's not on a carry is if it's Ivern, <laughs> right? Mm. Yeah, I can't imagine. Totally. And, and even then, it's kind of a ben. carry. Yeah, I was like, now if Mord does get banned here, I'd imagine that means they're looking towards a hook support or something like yeah. that. Lux is already banned, so this is taking away the two binding champions that tend to play well with that Caitlyn as well. Mm -hmm. um, could see a Karma come out here, though. I, Karma or Yumi, or both. Just Jack thresh. Staples, again, clearly. You could just yeah, thresh, thresh, thresh again. again. But I do really think this is a game we're probably going to see Karma or Yumi. I would not. But it would also be excited to see Thresh. That's Seraphine, well, man. They banned we'll it a lot. We'll oh, see. maybe Seraphine, yeah. Probably see support pick here. I, I doubt you save R5 for your support. I mean, if it's me, Unless... I'm picking Soraka, but... I would also... Ah! Ah! Eh! Hey, yep. That's hey, again. He's warmed up now. Yeah. He's calibrated. He's feeling it. Feeling it. Now mm -hmm. missing grabs. Had a strong... Like, that latter half of game two. Not even latter half. I'd say mid to late game. All of... Which is two-thirds of game two. Right? We saw him. Beautiful engages. Hooks when he needed them. Um, flays were nice. The instinct was there from Jack. And... We're going to see Velcro. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> Velcro support. Mm hmm. Velcro support. Velcos what is it? Does? It could be Velcro carry. Could be. Could be. They do have AD in the jungle. I'm so well, well, I'm Pike sure they're wishing good. they had. I Pike would be crazy here. Varus does make a little bit more sense. Yeah, Varus. Um, also, Pantheon could be a nasty pick here, but I think that gets shit on my thrash. Um, I, I like the Varus, though. This gives a lot more safety. Oh, ooh, okay, this is good, too. There's not that much good setup. Too. That's the issue. But... Yeah, I think we're definitely going to see a carry pick come out here from Zebra. I think more now than ever, because we just saw... We've we've seen two, what, two-fifths of this comp already. Right, okay. we saw Caitlyn and Ari, and what one had to lost ah. that game? <laughs> oh boy, did you yeah. say Kane here? Yeah, yeah, no. I did. <laughs> oh my huh. god, all right, he's a genius. Triple squishy backlight, free Kane game. It, I you think get it's a blue Kane game. No, no, it's still red. No game, way, but it's just free. Yeah, it's still red Kane. <laughs> it's a really yeah, good Kane I... angle. I love that pick. Yeah, then Zebra's fucking said Kane time. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. I'm I'm interested in how this is gonna go. Um the yeah, I the, I'm gonna say it. Um is okay, is it me or is Mighty still in the lobby as they're saying R? And Mighty is, is Mighty's said this. getting ready to play jungle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's why he knew what the game pick was. <laughs> <I see. laughs> no duh. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine All they right. start. <laughs> I'm just in there. <laughs> just in there. <laughs> what am I playing, dude? <laughs> what am I playing? What am I playing? Right. Best play. It would have been something. I'll say that much. But um, this is going to be an interesting game. You see, I think we've got two really electric picks in the Kane and the Velkaz. Stuff that were, like, these have been pretty, you know... Executive drafts, right? Executive drafts have the least kind of like sporadicness, but the cane, the Velkaz, not things we see um, at this level of play every time. So it's going to be really exciting to see how they handle it. And Dude Scooter, it's on the center. Had a couple of pretty cool moments on the Anivia, but didn't come out to a win. Now, I believe, was Sinja the highest? Or second highest. It was the highest mastery, yeah. Highest mastery. Yeah, it's like 600k. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not even close. It's like if you I, look I'm at... I'm gonna say, PC feels way more comfortable as a team comp, right? But there's a whole lot of crazy things that could happen with Andaloth's draft. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of damage, first of all, and then you've got this really pick-oriented CC. Uh, and you could see just d randomly fights breaking out and turning on their heads, you know, with uh, with this team composition. You've got the Shen ulti cross map. 
all kinds of uh, things that can really make uh, a team fight turn around that was lost just be an absolute win, you know? Mm -hmm. um, one fun thing about the bets now, now that everybody got shafted game, like people who voted on Andalos or people who voted on Ghost, game one got shafted and people who voted on Andalos got shafted game two. Now everybody's a little pensive to um, vote. Don't know who to vote for. Yeah, I mean, I tell you what, chat, I'm almost always wrong about these things, and I think PC is going to win. Mm. Mm -hmm. that's, that's my game uh, three prediction right now. All right, uh, tell me, I'm going to play some music. Tell me exactly how PC are going to win. Okay. It's going to start out in the jungle. Kane's probably going to buy some weird pet guy. Not sure which one. It's going to end in the jungle. Kane's gonna find a pentakill and win the game. Whoa. Alright. What is what is your response for the side of Andalox cloths here? I'm, I'm um, making you the spokesperson, Val. Sorry. Pers oh, that's understandable. Um somebody is gonna be like really close to death. Mm -hmm. And and it's gonna be an end game fight. Chin is split pushing, somebody's gonna be close to death. It's probably gonna be the most fed person on Andalox cloths, as long as that person is shown. And then they're gonna get be getting picked off. They're about to die. They get Shin ulted. Um, they live with like one HP, and then the game ends because Shin comes in. Now, if that happens, I will be dying. I will. I will cry. My prediction is that for the first time in League of Legends history, both teams will kill the enemy Nexus at the exact same moment, at the exact same tick, and the client will actually bug out and delete the game. Now, in that situation, Blue Side wins because it's first. Disgusting. <laughs> you know, you know, there's some horrible backup spaghetti code that just gives blue side wins randomly mm -hmm. if the game is somehow not decided. For sure. We are getting ready for spectator delay. <laughs> we had Ruffian say in the chat, "Blue side is only busted until I'm on red side." Hmm. I don't, I don't know if they remember game one. Confidence <laughs> coming out here. From the Cougar <laughs> Corporation, fellas. Right, that's my team. My new team. Um, by the way, if you didn't know, I, I said this earlier, I'm bringing it back. Probably should It's fine. Uh, technically speaking, Lachance is on Panther Court Ghost. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Yeah, according... If they win here, Lachance will be a um, LBLCS champion. Yes. Again? Yes. Actually, let me check the roster sheet just to make sure. No, he's on the roster. I know out. he's on the roster sheet. I think I checked okay. it myself. Yeah. Is this is this one of those things where the chance is like fiddling around and weaseled his way on that roster? Like, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I think we actually went out of our him. way. Yeah. yeah, we went out of our way to put him on the roster. Okay, I don't I see him on the roster him, actually. Guy gets a little snipey sometimes. You know, I wouldn't put it past him. You know. Well, he's, I don't think he's subbed in for a game, but. You know, we, do we do we have a rule about having to have played during the season? We do not. No, <laughs> I feel like that's not a rule we would make at all. Also, yeah, the chance could give him a, a self a championship at any time. Uh. <laughs> yes, I am a hundred percent sure that there is at least one player in the league who did that, and their name is Evdigus. Evdigus uh, gave themselves uh, every single championship, didn't they? Yes, every single role that exists in the server. Has been on Evdingus' head. Yep. And uh, you know, there's really nothing wrong with that. Dead even on the on the polling, by the way. Pretty low vote so this time. Yeah, I mean one one. Meckles are mirroring that ratio. Oh. Any last mm -hmm. second swing here? Any last second swing? I don't think so. Doesn't really look like I mean, it. Yeah. It's gonna Someone be actually exactly ended up exactly. Out, yeah. yeah. Wow, that was a good call from whoever did 20, that. Twenty thousand one hundred. 80 points a piece, making a total pot of 40,360. That's that's tiny, honestly. We had like over 100k last game, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. To be fair, people were co coerced to vote for <laughs> Brad's dad. Brad, <laughs> and not Brad's dad. And Las Claus. Yeah. And Las Claus coerced everyone they into. What could go wrong? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that though. It's that's confidence that we need, you know. 
it's completely different from uh from dude's confidence though which we don't need I'm gonna say that mm -hmm. yeah and it'll be interesting yeah. to see is syndra worth i mean certainly look worth all the prior last game we have yet to see what it looks like in the hands of dude scoot so i'm thinking this as well these are Dute's two highest mastery champions, the Ari and the Syndra, right? Right, that so he could probably be a bit knows. Advantage. Yeah. As far as knowing what the uh what the tactics, what the movement, what the rotations will be out of Sierra and the Ari. Uh do we have the counter round? I'm, I'm getting ready. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen. I have a cold. Fifteen. Six. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Are you good? Goodbye, my friend. Thank you, Cap. Hope he feels better. And stuff. Yeah. Well, I just hope he doesn't get you sick at brunch tomorrow. By the way, kind of weird I'll... to have brunch on a Thursday. Yeah. Thirty seconds until minions. Spawn. I thought I was frozen there. Duckler just stopped. That's just the mechanics. The duck canics. <laughs> yeah. Having a real close look at the river. Okay, the edge while of these two teams are five pointing, because it doesn't look like we're going to get invaded. Um, oh, never mind. Hang on. Going a little bit aggressive here. Going forward for the ward. They're going to spot that ward, but Zebra will get the deep vision. Okay. I was going to call out the double um, the double green pet. Uh, yeah. Just based off the Viego, but it actually, actually does turn out that way. I don't really <laughs> understand how this works. <laughs> Wait, what is? What do you think the logic is for the green item? I think it's just the tenacity, given the amount of CC on the both of these teams. It's just if you're if you're up against high CC and you're melee guy, go green. Yeah, or maybe green's just really good according to the stats, or maybe they're just both like. I think we did do a poll, and I think Bulbasaur won. I don't remember actually. Yeah, I think Bulbasaur won, and so I asked them both to build it. Um, oh. So it could be that. <laughs> it could be as dumb as that. Um, I, don't know, I like the green one, so I'm I'm here for it. Yeah, I am too. Okay, what I wanted to say is in preseason. Okay, this is gonna be a long stretch. I want to do a funny builds game, right? I want to do an in-house LBLCS five v five with only silly builds. But the way it's gonna work is you have to pitch your builds in a channel. And then you get pulled into the team, like, a la Hotline League, where we have someone, like, filtering the takes. So your build has to be silly enough that it makes it into the game. I see. Okay, so it's like a caster's... Ooh, okay, level two gonna be hit. Just yeah, gonna be a little bit off for both these teams, but a knockup is gonna go on oh, Ruffian here. He's taking quite a bit of damage. There goes the Ignite. Miniature Hobbit walking forward. A double flash at the exact same time, but the starter stepping not quite gonna be able to hit. Jack now gonna potentially be in a little bit of trouble. He's going to be able to live, but they are going to be forced off of this wave. That was some Velkaz power right there. Really putting the damage down. Got that CC early on, and that nearly picks up a double. No, I like that idea, though, to, to like have a channel that... Um, oh, coming through. Yeah. going to be a little slapping. Just a little... Yeah, <laughs> a little bit the, of that. Yeah. The greatness of watching tanks beat each other up. Mm-hmm. Nothing more. No, nothing more. Um, nothing better. Die! Do you see Wazok topside as the Tonk goes down to Duck Lord? And it's going to be the flash from Duck Lord keeps him alive. Yeah. In that situation, you're like telling yourself, please, please, please do not Q before flash like a dummy. And he executes it really nicely, flashes, Qs immediately after. Yeah, good gank attempt. Uh, unfortunately, the flash not in the right direction to keep up out of Wazak, but uh, gonna burn that out of the top lane for PC. Oh, now mid lane, though. Seer might need to look. The stun is gonna land, but so is the charm. Tons of damage gonna go down, though. Underneath the turret, Scavenly finds first blood. But now in the mid lane, PC Zebra looking to find themselves a couple little stacks, a couple little orbs, but Wazak is having none of it. He goes back in and says, I have the advantage. Zebra is forced to limp back away into his jungle. Yeah, and you can kind of see those mastery points showing there from uh, Dude, actually. Like, throws the Q, then uses the W scout of the week to get the full damage out. Mm -hmm. 
playing it as well as possible, obviously. No. Finals, gotta bring your A game. Gotta be the best. You gotta be bringing the best you can. And I mean, it's kind of what you expect from the executive teams. They've been really, really, really solid. These have probably been oh, the most solid. Oh, not miss. Yeah, no. Bofa has come into this game and is saying, yeah, I'm here He's for gonna me. hit both of those skill shots. Holy, no. you know what? You might be a genius. Um, I don't like that. I'll be, I'll be honest. <laughs> no, that was pretty good. You, you gotta, you gotta respect that one, Mighty. I'm sorry. I, mean, um, I respect it. That doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> Eros. Mm -hmm. I I love kind of these interactions that you can really only get with like Gragas and Sejuani, where incoming dashes because I think those two dashes have the most uh dash like that kind of dash priority in the game um where they they won't get like absorbed um, so that they're both pretty fun to play with and um no just play with i don't think they're fun to play against i'll be honest I, i'm sure miniature hobbit and dude scooter and well the brad dad okay, before Captain you guys said that there. could tell you well, too much gonna happen Gregor drives me nuts it's Gregus crazy. is pretty annoying. You ever play against Arthur Dance? Oh, flash forward play! Ignite going down to the mini trial, but extremely aggressive here from Jackie Boy. And Zebra is oh, in here on the backside. That is going to be a dead mini as your Hobbit. Bofa. Now gonna have to try and find the escape. Yeah, just walk away. He's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. like Good gank angle. Zebra shows up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna be taking I'd... quite a bit of the max HP damage here from Eros with his empowered autos. We'll trade some of it back though. What didn't we just watch Sejuani Shin in the top lane? What final was that? Oh, like wasn't that a recent game or am I crazy? Uh it might have been, but here comes Wazak. He's gonna be able to find the stun. Taunt not gonna be good though. Flash gonna be burned from Eros. Yeah, he was kind of I thought it would be Did he flash after? Uh it's I think he was just not quite in range. Yeah, I okay. think he just slightly missed. I feel like he was more than a range for like a flash full range stomp to a fit, but alas. Uh oh. I asked the resident LBLCS uh, Shen expert Sonic Skater 34. That's mm. a fair point. Cool guy. I, I love Sonic Skater. Ooh, Zebra might be oh, a little trouble here. It's going to be found out by Wazok Scatter of the Week, and that yep. is going to be a clean <laughs> pick up here. That is one of the dangers of farming mid lane as a jungler. Mm -hmm. I, did, I think he was just trying to hold the wave too, and it, yeah, he was just trying to hold the wave. Being cheeky there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to leave your lane, uh, mid lane out to dry. Yeah, but Can't it's not like, like that. The lane is fine. I mean, oh, true. Like you did. You did save the lane. It's all good. And, but yeah. they are going to give up like their first, first drink all series. Yeah, for sure. It looks like uh, Andaloth has been subbed out from top lane so that he can cheerlead in Twitch chat to give them the mental yeah. edge. I buy that. And back. Okay, that's going to be a oh, big no. ultimate seer walking out. Just a little bit of HP there. Woo! Yeah, that one. And we're seeing these lanes go a lot better for... I'd say Deuce Gooder probably is really ahead probably for the first time. In, not really ahead, but kind of has a good advantage in lane. First time we saw a big CS advantage in the favor of Seer on the Anivia, and we saw saw Seer get pretty strong game one on the Vex. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think a part of that as well is game one we saw Wazak on the Trundle get a lot of early impact on the lane. Um, mm -hmm. And now on the Viego also getting a lot of impact down, getting a few ganks off around that mid lane, around the bot lane, and um, you're starting to see that kind of affecting the lanes a bit. As Seer, I don't know if they would have been, you know, dead even anyway, but it's uh, it was a bit of an advantage for mid the last time around, so. Pretty even <sighs> so far. Oh. Sorry, Big Young. No, you're all good. Yeah, and I, let's talk scaling. Which of these teams do we think scales better? I have my opinion, but I don't know if it's right. I think Adelaus scales better, right? You have Vel'Kai, you have Mop, you have MF, you have Diego, all scale pretty good. Lock is going, going down, good. that's going to be the ultimate. 
Oh, Miniature Hobbit gonna be able to pick that one up with a long range combo, but now Zebra here gonna try and do some of the damage. Bofa gonna be taking so much. Umble Trash Blast will be used. Ruffian trying to do the damage, but here comes the Shen Ultimate. It will be canceled by Sejuani, though, as we get taken back. And now Miniature Hobbit gonna be the target of the Ace in the Hole, the Reaping Slash, the W, not quite gonna land. Zebra gonna need a little bit of mana, perhaps, to finish that one off. Miniature Hobbit will be able to walk out under tower. Hey, <laughs> if there's anybody we've seen in all three games that has been a boon for Andalos to deal with, it has been Zebra. Mm. And I, I don't want to make. I'll say, if we're talking about and this is oh, okay, gonna be here comes Wazak. Reference. They're gonna look to dive here, perhaps. I don't, I don't know if they have any materials. Oh, materials. Okay, that's no, gonna be no, a taunt. Oh, that's oh. gonna be a stun. Duck Lord tanking. A Ross. One more oh, turret shot would have oh, killed him. Duck Lord gonna live with the limit. Let Wazak, flash forward. Yeah, Wazak is Wazak gonna be able to get it. He's gotta let Wazak take acro there. Dead yeah, death, right? Pretty well played after all, though. Like, I was like, yeah. Duck Lord. Mm -hmm. Bought as much time as possible. We'll be able to TP back up. Um, as soon as he's back up, and okay, nice. Chunk still turned from here. Yeah, Jack there just in case. And we do see zebras on the backside, able to kind of make that rotate in. If Scooter gets a little bit overzealous in the lane, kind of respecting though, gonna be chilling mm -hmm. on the turret just for now. All right, I know Twitch is going crazy with the Jazz versus Bulls. Um, ooh metaphors but i think this is a lot more like suns versus bulls because pc zebra is charles barkley well, honestly, <laughs> oh god PC zebra, PC zebra might be jordan right now i won't lie to you um with the way he's been playing these last three games and that, but that I would make there, Wazak. there's charles. something very amusing about pc zebra is charles barkley for me <laughs> <laughs> i, I kind of oh, like man. that We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Sorry, sorry, Papova. I hate Apologizing in advance. I just won't be able to comment on any basketball metaphors. And No, yeah, nothing. That floor just mm. gonna be getting the worst of that trade there. Looks like they're going for a first item Frozen Heart. And we're seeing a first item of Radiant Virtue coming out. Um, That's really um, good. Shin! Wait. Hey, I was like, the R! You that get the proc on the yeah. R! Yeah. And that's pretty sick. Yeah. I was actually thinking about that in draft, and I was like, nah, this is like other stuff. You know? There's not, and this just in, there's not other stuff. Although I'd imagine. Ooh, Zebra, might be flash boost. forward, that's gonna be a play beautiful from Jackie Boy, but so much damage here coming through. Ooh. That is gonna be Jackie Boy trading his life, but now Bofa will be in trouble, and both of them are gonna fall. <laughs> that, was, that, was too. Okay, okay, that was that was, a, that was also a good one. Um, that combo is really, really potent, though. The Velkaz are on top of the... Uh, Wazak going to have to be careful oh. using the ultimate in order to mm. escape. And they're going to fight over that Drake, I'd imagine. Or they're just going to be given to you. Teleport going out here. Try to prevent too much from happening, but Zebra is going to look onto Wazak here in the jungle. Zebra feeling themselves. No Umbral Trespass available. We, we are going to go to the top lane as that fight disengages. Aeros taking a little bit of Chunkers from PC Thy Duck Lord. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be quite happy. Dragon will not yet fall as mm -hmm. Harold crashes into the bot turret. Alrighty, and you know, basically in the game say we've got a 1k lead in favor of Vandalos, and they're gonna they're gonna easily take this to Drake. I, it's kind of an ill-timed um reset not from be back in time. Yeah. Ruffian will not be back in time. Jack is backing <laughs> off in the back from Zebra, obviously to get form will mean that Endelos will get the second Drake, and that means some pressure being put. Now the good question is, are we going to see nope, Kim Cloud Drake. Drake? Ah, all right, cool. Well, at least we know it's not Bug. Yeah, we know it's not Bug. <laughs> we just got lucky. The game's in a row. Well, I was going to say, we've, we've had this happen with Cloud Drake, where, like, mm -hmm. Boba and I have casted a series of five games of Cloud Drake. Mm. And that was never, that never had like a boosted uh, chance, so... Mm -hmm. You're just blessed, honestly. Really? Who doesn't want three games of Cloud Drake? I mean, maybe we'll only get uh, Cloud Drakes from here. That wouldn't be half bad since we got two I feel like that's proper retribution for two games of Cl Kim, Kim Texel, right? Yeah. It's really the only path forward. And no, none of those games did we see it 
like see the soul actually playing. That's true. It's been pretty even on the uh, on the Drake. They start. One team will get up. To oh. like Jackie Boy going to use the box, but that's just going to be a double alt layering underneath the turret. Might be able to live a little bit longer. Bofa takes one too many turret oh. shots, but ends up getting executed. Seer going forward is going to be able to find the root, but a beautiful scatter of the beat. Going to mean a little bit of trouble. Now here comes the ultimate to keep Dude Scooter alive as the Umbral Trespass goes through. Eros shown up underneath the enemy tur or friendly turret. Seer going to have to run away. Yeah, they really might just play. like try again, by the way, with a Q ult from Diduff Lord. Yeah. Aeros is here though. Zebra's gonna have to be careful. Taunt not quite gonna land. But you are pretty low health. Charm will be good, but Wazak is now here on the flank. Glacial yeah. Prism gonna be used there. Ducklord gonna be forced to flash away. Will be stunned up. We'll see if too much more can happen here. There's the scatter of the week. Wazak will do the damage. That's gonna be another Q. It's on a nice edge, but they don't quite have the rotations. No one dies. Woo! <laughs> I was I'd imagine that's what both teams are saying. Like, yeah, no one, yeah, we didn't get the kills, but no one died, and I guess that's the upside, right? For PC, it means that Zebra maintains kind of the lead he has. I didn't even notice, Lucky has four assists, and obviously, I'm not like Omega, like super duper in love with Caitlyn, so I think it's harder to make plays on that character. Yeah, but, but yeah, Zebra tried to go grass. for the steal, did not get it. And this is oh. one of those things that Kane can do, is just get in and out of pit so easily that the steel is a mm -hmm. serious threat anytime that thing is alive. Okay, Eros is going to be taking quite a bit here from that Duck Lord. That Duck Lord is going to be able to find a stun. Zebra will be on the flank here. Eros, though, as Wazak has Bofa. Both of the bot laners are going to be here for this fight. Duckboard's gonna have to walk away. Zebra might not want this. Does get taunted up. Doesn't get knocked up. But that is so much damage. Umble Trespass gonna be forced out. He's gonna look to go back. That is so much healing. But you are gonna fall. Miniature Hobbit gonna pick that one up. Yeah, Miniature Hobbit kind of quietly getting up to a huge advantage so far in this game. 4 2 and 0. Oh, but on the bot side, they managed to find the call. Dude Scooter gonna be in trouble missing the Scatter of the Week. See, you're just autoing them down. They managed to find a pick for themselves. Yeah, so good uh, good cross map play from PC there. Jackie boy not to be outdone. Gonna find somebody. And the uh, Skettles don't get shields anymore, huh? It's just like, uh, they're just tanky. Yeah. Bazaar gonna be forced to ult away using that Heartbreaker. Mid turret will fall here though. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a strong, strong, strong early game coming out. And a loss that got the first turn down and a, about a 4k gold lead for 420 minutes. They're looking to put Panthercore on series point. Shen actually went the heart steal and not the Healy one. True. He went the healthy boy one. He wants to just be Lorge. I wonder if he'll go Titanic. That would be cool. That's actually, that makes some sense here. That is a fully upgraded little green boy. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, can I? We if, if, if we're in a lull state, I'm just gonna try to. That little green boy is huge. Look at I him. don't know what you're trying to do. I'm just zoomed in on the. Uh, oh, on on the, the little green boy, yeah. I will let you know Jen if there's action. Jenkins, I also wanted to avoid calling anyone Malone. I just okay. think that's mean. Oh, great flash from Bofa. I hope that was the little green boy you were following. Uh. Oh. Oh, Jack? 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 <laughs> Let's get the x flash. Let's get the x flash. Let's get the x -flash. It might actually have been to get the x flash. <laughs> Genuinely. I've seen, I've seen some wild things for people trying, from Duck people Lord. trying to get x flash. Gonna do a little bit of bonking in Aeros' face. Just building the Frozen Heart for sheer value here. Like, mm -hmm. that's not even good in his 1v1. It is just to counter the Viego, counter the MF. But now Wazok's gonna be here. This might be a little bit of trouble. Duck Lord, not that tanky with only a Frozen Heart to his name. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Jacing is the right call here, though. The Lantern's always going to be available yeah. on the backside. Yeah, but this will be third Drake. Panthercore do want to look to contest this, but it is starting to melt already. Do have the Scuttle, so you know what is going on, but you do not know exactly how healthy the Drake is. Zebra trying to scout it out. No Ruffian. Coming. No Ruffian, no Seer. They're maybe going to make the call to just give away this third Drake. It's got to be going to tag that Duck Lord there, and there might be a little flank. Lots of go-in pinks, but Lantern is going to be good. Dude Scooter, perhaps looking for the scab of the week. A flay away is going to be good, but Jackie Boy is going to be in trouble. No flash means he will fall. Yeah, definitely wishing he had flash right now. 
Oh. Are we going to see a hook over the oh, wall? Flash forward. Oh. Wazak going forward. Looking for the plays. Uses the Heartbreaker. Zebra using the Humble Trespass to stay alive. Walking through the walls. Dude Scooter going incredibly low. Having to force Flash out themselves. Bofa getting incredibly low as Seer comes in to try and pick off. There's one on the back end. Dude Scooter running for their lives. Becklord and Seer looking to perhaps run them down. But this would be a two versus four. Admittedly, there are some low health They're individuals. They are not scared. They want to go forward. Seer charming up. The Gromp. Gromculus. Oh, does steal it away with the Q. Oh, oh that feels bad if you're Wazak. Waz Wazak, Wazak. Oh, Miniature Hobbit he is going to be chasing down Ruffian here. Ruffian uses the Ghost to get to safety. Nice. So that's three dragons stacked up, four and a loss mm -hmm. there. Uh, one off of the soul there. Mm -hmm. see, it's going to be a, a about big in three and a half minutes. Yeah, they've got a pretty good lead. Uh, they're they're really hurting my uh, my prediction of yeah. three games straight if you see mm. them. But, yeah. The game's not over yet. Yeah, I was, I was, I was going to ask, Mighty, what do you think will bring PC back into this game? Um... I mean, it's a zebra pentakill, but that's right? Oh, mm. shit. So I mean, right. that was the prediction, right? Zebra gets yeah. a pentakill no, actually, the game. I, I, think, I think it's up to zebra to get a little bit uh, spicy with these antics, you know. There, there's this combo, this one-two of, like, either Ari or zebra finding a pick because they're so mobile. Uh, and then just completely running away with them. So, you know, they're really not that fed yet. So. Yeah, they're going to fight over this. Zebra going to be the target. The ultimate's perhaps a little bit premature on the life form disintegration, right? Mm -hmm. One of my favorite ultimate names. Mm -hmm. I, I I really like using ability names. It is so fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. It feels okay. very satisfying. What is Shenton called? On? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Shadow Dash. Shadow Dash. That's good. Ooh. Like <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Ducklord is going to be the target of these empowered autos. Speaking of the Shadow Dash. He's shadow dashing um, all over that Duck Lord. I totally thought Shin was going to uh, Icebound that one. Ooh, beautiful scatter of the week. Here comes the misfortune bullet time. Not going to find too much damage though. Zebra is going to go in. Oh, Umbral Trespass plus Gale Force manages to find the pick on the Dude Scoot. Now Seer going forward. Bofa taking a ton of damage. There goes the Reaping Slash. That's the one too. That's it. Mm -hmm. Just like that, PC has shown, no matter how skirmishy your comp is, no matter how nice your fighting is, we are going to skirmish you to death. That is the plan. There's never been, I don't know if they came into this game with any uh, with anything else in their little playbook. Um, take skirmishes, make life difficult. Yeah. I don't know, well, I guess you're like, shit old, if you're trying to get into a position where Sejuani can't interrupt it. Yeah, oh. I guess they had the back. How cat long? Boy. That's a dead cat boy. Yeah. Good job holding his flash. <laughs> probably no way you get away from that. Yeah, a little overstay there. Probably just a greedy positioning, but mm -hmm. you know, we, we, we take those. It's okay. I am going to periodically zoom in on the jungle pets because I like them. That's what the people want to see, honestly. Yeah. No, I think so. We do have a uh, seer with a huge like 50 cs advantage in the mid lane somehow didn't even know when that happened he just does it man i don't know how it just evaporates i will say though we do see pc zebra picking up the talked about item has the ravenous hydra hydra and it is stacking yeah yes I, I like that's what it does now mr as well um in the build but okay gonna gonna look problem. for him here I'm going to be able to find them though they don't pull the trigger. So you're going to go yeah. forward, but we'll get taunted Woo! up. My form disintegration rate will be canceled, but that is a shutdown. Going over, Bofa is going to get canceled. The ultimate, not quite going to find it. Zebra will find it in the back end, though. Now, Ruffian looking to do damage. Zebra is such a problem here for the side of Andalox Claw. Stute Scooter trying to stay alive. Forced to flash away. Miniature Hobbit now. Ooh, it's going to be taunted up. Here comes the bullet time. Not quite going to be there. Zebra getting kind of low. Jack gonna miss that taunt flash play, not gonna land oh, either. Hobbit man. trying to find the spacing. Zebra looking to go forward, he, but here comes the Shen ult looking to save. That's gonna be a shutdown. Dude Scooter gonna be the target of that Shen ult. Here comes Wazak. They're looking for Ruffy, and he's incredibly low. 
Heartbreaker not available, though. Miniature Hobbit will find the slow. Defines the bounce on the shot. What a wow. two-tap coming through. But that also felt like an egregious over, like kind Very of overextension. Messy. Yeah, yeah I was like... Seer thought there was like two whole people not in that bush. And mm -hmm. then he dashed. He thought one it. person was in, yep. Yeah, and suddenly there's three, and they just... Uh-oh. But no, I think a, a little bit of a overextension. Jack uh, had, a, had a bit of a moment, and uh, Zebra followed it right up. That is so much gold on this misfortune. Mm -hmm. She and is Aaron, very fed. The, the soul picked up, by the way, through all that, just like casually. Oh. So I think a pretty big advantage. Can for someone Andrew check Austin. stats? Because it used to be that Cloud Drake had the highest soul win rate. I want to know if that's still true. I'm not sure. And I don't even know where I would check that. I think League of Graphs has it. Do they already mm. have stats on the priests and stuff? Or? I think so. They might not have a huge number, but I want to know what it's what it's looking like. They're looking for a pick here. Jack Caddy Boy is going to be tagged up, will be knocked up, and that will be a pick. They might look to start there and off of that one. Got Flirt in the bot lane. He's going to be getting bonked a little bit here. Titanic Hydra available. So much bonus health here for Eros. Oh, but they're not going to look for the Baron. They're going to look for more, trying to find the who the man in the jungle. Yeah, that's uh, dicey, that one. Okay, oh, charm. Yep. Pulling off the Baron, though. Perhaps just going to look to be getting some good old standing gold on this one. Hooey! I do reckon there's gold in them turrets. A little bit. A couple. Mm -hmm. and I think, uh, for me so far, Bofa just making a huge difference in this game. Yeah, that has had an insane game. Yeah, like, that's where all the picks are getting generated from, I'm pretty sure. A lot of Scout of the Weeks, too, but just the mm -hmm. slows and things coming out of this guy is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. A huge game from Bofa coming in, come in, game three of the finals. It's 1-1, one, one. you've got to make oh, a difference. Oh, Ducklord going to be gotta using be the Glacial back. Prison there, but that is an absolutely massive oh, bullet time life form disintegration rate on both Trash Slash Force, but you see, bro, heals back to absolutely full health, and now Bofa goes down. Wazak in the back line, though, he's looking for the resex. Ducklord going to be alive, but Miniature Hobbit doing damage. See, you're looking for it, but here comes the Shen ultimate. Oh, he dies on his way to Jack Catboy, and they are perhaps and looking to end the game here. Hook means mm -hmm. he's going to live for a little bit longer. There goes the Heartbreaker, but he will end up nice. falling to Jackie Boy. I don't think they can stop uh, that from ending the game. No, Turn damage is there. Yeah, damage 16 there. seconds till anyone's another. alive. MF does so much damage here. And I think we're probably, well, I don't know. Seven? Uh, six? Yeah. Five? Yeah. yeah. This is going to be game, boy, right? two, game three. Two, one in favor of Andalot's Cloths. Mm-hmm. We're going to a very important game for here as Andalot's Cloths have pushed PC Ghost back another game. They'll have to claw out a game five in the hopes of taking this series away. I'm going to pee so y'all vamp. <laughs> you got it. I also want to leave Mighty Defend for himself, so that's what I'm going to go do. Fair enough. Um, I guess I'll close out the prediction. <laughs> they're they're not gonna like me doing that, but chat remind me who won. Not PC, not PC, not PC. Choose outcome. Eros's bosses. Complete prediction. Did we do it? Schmecklegate 3.0? Probably not. Let's have a look at these damage charts. It looks like Zebra actually doing a ton and very nearly, I think, turning a few of these fights, but it was just not enough. Definitely had that one two punch coming in from the Ari and the Kane. And if we saw it a couple more times, the game looks a bit closer, but a really, really good performance out of Andalos Kloss. Uh, and I, I can't say that Dude is getting the uh, Syndra again after that. It's definitely. Um, Definitely a very strong performance, even though the damage chart's not crazy for the Syndra. A ton of critical gank plays and scatter the weeks in the mid-game fights. Just turning this game around. And I would say three ban against Miniature Hobbit. Still finding the MF at the end of the day. Absolutely hard carrying the game.
So what do you do against that? It's going to be a, a necessary adaptation to the bot side from PC to figure out how to deal with this. Eros' challenger smurf? I'm not sure. Not convinced. Got a few of you wanting to get subbed in. You know, you got to talk to the big boss Andaloth about that one. I, would I, say. I want to see if I can get another co-caster to speak into the mic here real quick. Uh-oh. We're getting a triple... Come on, cat. What are we getting here? Come on, cat. Oh, that cat. Meow. Meow. That's not her. That's cameo. me trying to get her to meow. She doesn't want to. Cat cameo. Cameo. Yeah, I'm looking at this. I don't really know what their uh, what their plan is for game three. Because the cane was like a, a surefire win in my book. Yeah, it, it, it looked good, and it did so much damage in these fights. But, I mean, just Misfortune was able to... Do you really think it was that one mid-fight where they overstayed? No, no. Um, I, I think it, over the course of the whole game, the execution was just really, really good uh, from the side of Andalos. And honestly, PC got really sloppy in a lot of these fights. So... Mm-hmm. We well, it's because we saw this time around they didn't have a comp that could fight for. Um. Yeah, just didn't kind of had a comp, have a comp that could skirmish for free like their last few teams did. Yeah, also, much more difficult to land CC across the board. They still have the Sejuani, but they're looking at like a ton of skill shots that need to land on the key targets, or it's just not going to work. You know, even Kane going in, uh, hitting the knockups. A few of those just mm -hmm. narrowly missing the MF, uh, not finding their target, and and that means Kane's just stuck there with nothing, you know. Yeah. Oh, mighty! I heard you uh, paid out the schmeckles. I did. I think I did it right. I'm not sure. Looks like you did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not I great at that stuff. You know, wide. I don't see widespread um community hatred. So. <laughs> Oh, it's a it's a slow burn for Schmeckle yeah. Gates. Don't, mm -hmm. don't you worry. Yeah, usually it's just one or two people. They're like, "Where's my money? and everyone else is really happy. <laughs> That's how it is. Ooh. Or it's you know people that I paid off like Drox, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um. I mean, it never happened, but. It never happened. All right, we are getting the invite to what could be match point. Mm -hmm. Will the Andaloth's cloths finish off their domination of the series? Or will Panthercore okay. fight back game four? Big news here. It's game one. Uh, it's game one group for Andaloth. Mm. Got Andaloth back in, so no Eros, and then Brad Dad back in. It's, it's the full lineup. All right. They did win game one. Perhaps it looks good. Tell me what draft adaptation do you want to see coming out here from the side of Panther Corporation? No, I have no um, idea. I kind of want them to pick the cane again. <laughs> mm. It sounds well, weird. Well, they're probably gonna they're gonna first pick Syndra, for sure. If it's not banned. Yeah, they're for gonna sure. first pick Syndra. <laughs> I can't imagine that. Okay, so Victor gonna be the Klaus. first pick because you guys have the draft up, right? Oh, I We're didn't. Grabbing it now. Yeah. The, so. Oh, it's already starting. Syndra is banned. Oh, Cinder Band, Victor first pick. Okay, thank you. As you were saying that... it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. God, they keep wow. switching sides. Yeah, you're gonna have to deal with that. Um yeah, So I I don't know. I think Andalus has a good formula for this. Yeah, the R definitely something that it's the it's the second in the rotation, you know, you go it goes Syndra, then Ari, then Anivia. And it, it, if they're band or pick, that's the order, always, you know. All right, I'm gonna get a little. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little funky, and I'm gonna play my smooth jazz. 
We're gonna take the move down a little bit. Actually, wait. That's completely wrong, isn't it? Probably. That's that actually cool. completely wrong. Ooh, PC just went Orin instead of Sejuani. Okay, this is the Dutch Lord Orin. He is known for this pick. They also first picked the victor. That's gonna be a new one coming out here from Seer. We'll have to see what the completion of their first rotation is. Are we gonna see jungle here, or are we gonna see um, an ADC pick? They've been saving hey, jungle. Jack on Lulu. Hey, they had the real of in from the Thrush game, I guess. Understandable. But I, I think like once this. again, you're going for something safe in game four, right? You don't wanna throw anything too sporadic. Lulu matches with a lot of ADCs. We're not gonna see a bunch of ADC bands come out here, right? Unless uh, we see Andaloth's pick in ADC here. And I'd imagine that... Lord Shen? Um, Shen again. Shen. Hey, okay. that's the last game. Okay. I mean, they won with it, it's good. I think yeah. I like One of these the teams is a lot better at skirmishing. Yeah, I mean, that's the other thing. PC has picked three good team fighting champions, right? They've got a solid front mm -hmm. to back built up already. Mm -hmm. So now it's going to come down to kind of what have been these two carry slots for them. We've got the victor already. We'll there's see. The are they going to give? Yeah, there's just the game ban. But, you know, um, with Diego. So another unique champion for Zebra. Um, we're going to see. Is it going to be this? Is this game going to be? Because now I can definitely see maybe a supportive pick coming out from Ruffian. Maybe maybe we see something like the Ash. Um, are they going to ban Ivor? Or? I imagine they ban Ivor in here, even though I think it's not, there's a very low chance it gets banned. I don't think they're going to pick it here, but I can imagine that they're going to They could. You need more damage they in your could. Top, though, if you're Panther Claw. No, they're going to jinx. Yeah, I was like, I don't think they'll pick it because they need more damage. They need a consistent source of damage. As good as Victor is, you can really kind of negate him with good movement. Will we with... see Ruffian Draven? No. Wow. No shot. <laughs> I would I lose I, it. I would lose I it. Yeah, I think I'd lose it. <laughs> Jungle Graves Ivern and Ruffian's going to play Sivir. Mm. Okay. You so called the cane pick. I do see, see pretty I confident. I feel like about he's going to play Kaisa or Samira. I feel like Samira yeah. might be the pick. Samira could, my hat in no. the ring. My hat in the ring. I'll say Kaisa Varus for Varus Ruffian. Be. And I'll say Graves is a pretty good call for jungle but also with, with the series on the line i could see something crazy like zaya lee sin zaya. i like zaya they're per, they're very short range on the other team this is really yeah. really good actually yeah they definitely have to come into you so that root collar would be extremely high value oh maybe wukong here i don't ah. love it though. wukong really high win rate on the current patch yeah could but i guys. feel like they shouldn't they shouldn't pick it but they might and it's like Wukong, Lee Sin are both things I that think I think Lee you could throw down the gauntlet on. Lee Sin is yeah, a... there's a <laughs> good Yeah, let's yeah. go. <laughs> we'll yeah, <laughs> just threw down the gauntlet. Said, you know what? Fuck it. It's game. It's match point. I'll put it on my. Put it on the mechanics, right? I Bank it all on that. Wrong team. Mm -hmm. Possible for the wrong team. I called Lee Sin before, way before it was picked. God bless. Oh, we're going to say Varus. I like yeah. Varus better here. Yeah, this is Varus good is nice. You add that range uh, mm -hmm. in order to be able to actually hit the Zaya without dying. Mm hmm. Is that still going to be pretty? We have some interesting comps here because I'll say it Pentacore's comp doesn't have a bunch of damage, but these fights are slow. And I think the longer a fight goes on, Without people dying, the better I waver PC's chances. They have strong scaling with the Victor, the Orn, and Zaya, as well as the Lulu. It's just about because we saw kind of the 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 team that scales but can team fight almost didn't work for Andalos in game one. They got that team fight off, and I mean, if that if there's just a little bit more patience from PC there, right? We are we're probably not talking about them being down to one they're probably up to one um yep. but now pc have to show that they can play these kind of slow comps that can't skirmish like hell right and we'll have to see because i am not you couldn't pay me to skirmish against shin amumu viego you couldn't do it add an r on to that no gods no so we'll have both. to see how they do in those front those team fights 
this dynamic for PC is going to be a lot less about Zebra and a lot more about Seer. And I think that's mm-hmm. that's kind of been the uh, that's the shift that's happening in this game from what we've seen in the earlier parts of the series, where Zebra yep. was dictating a ton of what PC is doing. Mm-hmm. And it's still going to be that way in the early game, obviously, at least in a, a very proactive champion. Um, but their game plan is going to be centered around that man in the mid lane instead, I think. All right, does look like we are about going to be getting into this game. Well, into the client at least. Yeah, we've still got our, our spectator oh three minutes boy. and then whatever it takes to, to pick through. All right, let's get it going! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I'm a little surprised to see um, to see the MF ban. I guess they saw the Amumu coming. Mm-hmm. And said and said, let's get that out of here, uh, mm-hmm. because they don't have the they've swapped supports, so they don't have that Velcar's threat anymore. Uh, but still looking at that and saying, yeah, that was too much. We're not doing that. Mm-hmm. They've been. I I do like that we're seeing like proper bands come out here, even after substitutions. Something I see a lot, if, like when I'm playing an econ and when I've watched econ or commercial, is that teams will just like not acknowledge like you're banning like. But I'll say a good example is like you're banning a bard one trick, but the bard one trick is subbed out. It's not there. And so you've kind of you've got a dead ban on the table. Yeah, you're you your banning against yeah. a zero game bard player. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just like you banned bard, but this guy's never played a game of bard in his entire life. So it's kind of unfortunate. That's why it's but, so easy with some people because they have the one trick in their name. So you're just mm-hmm. like, oh, name, name, ban. Yeah, you know? name, ban. Andy Gwynn is the first one that comes to mind. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, hide in shrouds. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of a third one. Uh, th- there's there's examples from previous seasons that don't play anymore. I think, but it's a good one. I was about to say Hecker Pable, but um, <laughs> that's not right. No, <laughs> that's not right. Oopsie. <laughs> Which part of that says Udir? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. The first part says Hecarim. Uh, Hecarim, <laughs> baby. <laughs> gotta think. I gotta, gotta go uh, big brain on that one. Mm-hmm. 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 Still praying for Scoot's downfall. Okay, Jenkins, what? I'm with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the bet live, Chad? If you're uh, if you're looking for some schmecks, you know, mm-hmm. or just looking to lose them. Mm-hmm. Use them or lose them. I, I really want to find a way to play poker with Schmeckle. I don't know if it's just like we have a Schmeckle pot and then like uh, we all Should make I an agreement we're going to do a well? bet for the winner, second place, third place, but mm-hmm. that seems hard uh, to do. But I do like the idea of community poker nights. That sounds mm-hmm. fun. Discord has a built in poker. I don't know if you've seen it. Mm-hmm. It's very nice, very useful. Mm-hmm. Wait, couldn't you just couldn't you just play poker and then do a bet that's just like okay, every anybody that wins a hand will bet however much was bet on win, and everybody else bets on lose, and they just all the money goes. Yeah, um, but then you're trusting people. You could just cancel a bet till they get it right. I mean, you can see it as an ad. Oh Uh-oh. my god! Oh. Uh, Supports oh. computer craft. Rip. Okay, we're gonna go back to <laughs> looking at the pick ban. <laughs> nice support. I... They said supports computer crashed, but it's uh, ruffian that's gone. I think ruffian left the lobby because Jack couldn't make. Oh. Yeah, Jack couldn't. Right, he leaves the copy lobby because Jack can't. Oh. I thought that Seer was calling uh, ruffian the support, which was funnier in my head. Than, that than is quite nice. Reality. I might I might run with that one too, actually. Yeah. Also made more sense at the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get. <laughs> I've been wondering what rank this thing is displaying now that the season's over. It's, but it's my double up rank. <laughs> I joined to the lobby and it said plat four, and I was like, well, wait, wait, why? When am I? What? Mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Just better. Yeah. Does that mean that Seer is masters and double up? 
Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that, that checks out. It's a pretty good player. I'm gonna look. Wait, I can see that, right? No, it's it's solo duo. <laughs> Okay, looks like we are getting put together in the lobby. You know, yeah. Let me run the coriander beer commercial again. Good idea. A six pack of beer is just a six pack of beer. But a six pack of coriander? Now that's something to celebrate. Carefully crafted with one main ingredient, one signature flavor, coriander cream sends hops and malt barley. With our new easy to open bottles, you'll be able to slug down a sixer faster than you could ever want to. So grab a friend and raise a glass to craftsmanship. Because a coriander shouldn't be enjoyed alone. It's the only beverage of true refreshment. Coriander beer. It takes two to tank. Hey, we are uh, still waiting for them to hit the go button again. Okay, we are. Uh... But I'm here for you, you know? I hear some laughing in the background. It's always a good time. Yeah, sorry, that was me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting evil laughs, yeah. Okay. All right, we can get into the game for right now. For um, my my personal well-being, I'm hoping for a uh, Analoth's plots win. Um, for the now that you're asking in for it, you're probably not going to get it. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe I'm also, just trying to curse Andalot's claw so PC win. Oh, yeah, random PC brute redeemed a hunk alert, hunk alert. Random brute, who is the hunk? I think we all know who the hunk should be. I would think I'd have to find candidates. out who it will be. Yeah. I don't know if random brute. Andalot. <laughs> all right. Andalot. It's Andalot. Fair enough. Mr. Lothy ends up being Mr. Hunculus. So it is now the Hunks Dunks instead of Andalot's Cloths by uh, Royal Decree. I like that. Alright, remind me what, what what's happening. We have two teams, PC and Andalot's Cloths. Yep. They've done some stuff. Yeah, they've done some stuff. Um... I'm editing the file. Interlocks Plus are on red side this game, right? Yes. Okay. All right. If PC win, I'm probably going to be up till one in the morning. You think so? But I think PC are going to win because I said they would win after Andalos won game one. So. True. But then Andalos won game. Three. The weak fear the shadow. Yeah, but I didn't. I fear said the series. I didn't say they would. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I thought they would, but I didn't say they would win all the games. <laughs> right. I'm pretty sure you said they would win all the games, but I'm, I'll lose you. No, I did as a prediction, but not as like the th the other thing. Shall I turn in my right. rifle as well? Wait, there was a Caitlyn Ben. Yep. Did in yep. fact get Bernard. Bernard. I always bet against PC. Good call. Yeah, I get that. There are answers. <laughs> there are answers? Yeah. Yeah. I actually, you know, one of the games is a little sus. Well, I mean, think about it, right? Think about the games, think about the plays they made in game two where they're like diving under turns and taking like the craziest of trades. If they weren't ahead, those are in plays. That's fair. And then there was a game, literally last game, where they weren't ahead and those were just in plays. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I, I I can see a lot of the uh, a lot of the intention, but when you have these like razor's edge kind of moments and there's not enough vision to make a good decision, it's whoever sees whoever first. In that case, it was like it's her on Ari dashing into three people. Thought maybe there was one. Yeah, that stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm pumped though. Another Vigo game. Gonna be a lot of early ganks. Mm hmm. Viego. Yeah. Yeah. I am. I'm just happy excited. we don't have any more Bofa jokes. Oh, but they were good. Come on. <laughs> Come on. They were pretty, were pretty good. good. Bofa was like my favorite player in that whole game. And <laughs> but it's just the name, man. <laughs> The Bofa um, well cause is going to go down in history, no matter what happens to see. Yeah, it was it was really strong performance, to be honest. Like really, really good. This game's going to be a seer game. I'm calling it. I'm yeah, it's just going to be five. I think if what, and I mean, Victor's kind of that character. I mean, people have a bad taste in their mouth because of World fi World's Finals, right? But. People will often forget that if you're in solo queue and you see a fed victor, you're going to be like, God damn it. God fucking damn it. <laughs> EQ I don't auto R it. sometimes does your whole health bar. Woo! Sometimes your whole, the whole thing, you know? Yeah, and then so the thing is, goes over your whole team. It's just stuff. If it's not doing your whole health bar, then all the chatters are going to come out and say why the build is wrong. Holy shit! You're so I mean, they're right. gonna do that anyway because this is the low budget LCS and yeah, low budget LCS. LCS. I don't think anyone in the low budget LCS has ever been happy with the victor build in their entire lives. By the way, there are fifty-seven people here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. We had over sixty-five at one Those point. Those are rookie numbers. Uh, rookie numbers. I don't care. Fifty fifty-eight people watching League of Legends is awesome. No, I love it, yeah. We're it's definitely so cool. going to raid a, someone after this. I'm thinking yeah. we're going to raid Darshan. That's Darshan. what I'm thinking. Be nice. Dar I'd imagine Darshan or Rush. That's my call. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think uh, when I was streaming with Buggle the other day, we we uh, raided some random, like, Silver Ash player. <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> it was just like, go find a one-viewer league stream. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I, I got Genius. some... Uh, I think he's like a, a student in California or something. He's I mean, Ash. there was one time we raided a British minor leagues wrestling tournament. Um, nice. That's like, cool. You know, I like that. That was the chance. I won't take credit for that. No. That does sound like a very LeChance chance thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. And we are about to get into this game. I am going to predict a path. Perhaps talk to bot from the Lee Sin here. Maybe something similar from the Viego. You've got your Amumu to set up kills. I think Bro wants to keep looking. Of course, he could look mid. I think Shen just has a little bit too much self heal in terms of his tools early game. Um, I'm going to respectfully disagree and say the first gank is going top lane for mm -hmm. Thy Duck Lord. Okay. Okay. I want to see what is the move, how are we going to move around this horn, right? Because clearly it's they're looking to be front to back, or is kind of their only form of One, consistent two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay, okay, goodbye, friend. See you at brunch. I cannot do a good Dracula laugh, and that we're moving as far. Have you guys ever read Dracula? Um, no. It's a really good book. I imagine is it really long? It's not actually that long. The style of the writing t is what I like the most about it. It's written in what's called the mm. epistolary style. At least that's what someone told me. Um, gross mm. word. And it, it essentially means that instead of being like a book written from a certain narrative, it's written as a collection of evidence. So it's like a letter oh. from someone to someone about something. And there's sections that are like a phonograph recording. It's really cool. Okay. That does sound really awesome. Yeah, and I didn't I, I like stories. It. I like stories like 
stories told in like completely untraditional means it might be like my one and true like favorite way to consume media it's like one of my favorite is um audio like like i'd say like soap operas quote unquote but it's like audio plays and stuff Mm. like that where you essentially are doing um one of my friends called it like an advanced um audiobook Mm -hmm. where but it's like acting in the whole shebang it's more theatrical it's very nice yeah, it's really nice. But yeah, if you have read Dracula, read Dracula. It's, it's good. Um, yeah, I'm very interested. It's really weird too. It's not. It's like not what you expect when you go into Dracula, right? There's no like. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's no standard Dracula story. You know, like with Frankenstein. Yeah. There's been so many retellings of Frankenstein where you're like, all right, I get this. Like, I, I understand what's gonna happen here. There's there's a mob. There's a torch. There's a girl. Right. But with Dracula, mm-hmm. it's always, like, weird retellings where they're like, we're just going to take the vampire theme and tell a story with it. Anyway, mm-hmm. let's talk about this game. We do, in fact, see Lee Sin uh, heading top to bot, whereas Wazak is heading top to top. So, I was so invested in how you were talking about it. I was in. I was into it. <laughs> Ooh, Brad Dad is going to be able to find the bandage toss here. Jack Catboy. I have to back away. Yeah. That's a good trade, actually. A lot of damage there. I'm very mm-hmm. sad it's not PC Cat E Boy. As they hit level 2, but the Vanish Toss is good again. There goes the Ignite. Shield gonna be going down here. Miniature Hobbit not quite in range to do the damage. Brad Dad gonna go in underneath Brad the Dad. turret. Brad Dad might be in trouble, is forced on the flash away. Good flash. Good flash. Great not flash. Quite able to find enough damage. If they have Ignite there, I think Brad Dad is dead. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's but the root caller also put him in a really tough spot because I'd imagine damage is just as long as you are next to Zaya, you take damage, right? Yeah, you basically so I'd imagine that's what the flash comes out, dodges that amount of damage, which is huge. Uh, Ruffin also making like the game tag decision to say, Hey, let's not let miniature Robit Robit Hobbit get the damage off here. here comes and you Wazok know, for the top gank. Mm. Oh boy. Duck Lord going in is finding a Brittle Proc. Andaloth going oh. incredibly low. He might not have the health pool to look here for yeah, the taunt. Duck Lord, though, going to be taking damage. Out. Fighting in the wave. Flash is oh. trying to find Andaloth. Now I'm forced to back break. away. But he's fighting in the wave. Does get taunted up, but that is going to be a clean first blood. Brad Dad now going underneath the turret, but here comes Zebra from the back end. Mini Atrop is going to fall, and so is the Brad Dad. That is going to be two for one with a cross map. Yeah, that's what I'll call mm-hmm. that. That's wild. Yeah. And it's a big, I have PC will take that 100%. You get um, a, a kill and an assist onto your Leeson, who is, I say Leeson is very Feast of Famine. Obviously, you can make big plays in late game, but when it comes to it, he needs to get ahead early, right? You want to get the Leeson active on the map. You want him to be able to get prior, get these lanes, have the prior for some skirmishes. Um, but it's going to be really interesting to see how they pilot this lease in, I think, in the mid game. Because I, like, you know, a lot of these characters hit their kind of, hit the apex of their power in the late game. Not in the mid game. So it's going to be interesting to see how Lee Sin will pilot these dragon fights and these these objective fights if it's not just through having proper prio and better position, right? Yeah, Charm is going to go down on the here. Not gonna be anything though. Oh, but here comes Brad Dad, level three. But Zebra and oh, Catboy oh. are on the backside. Wazak here as well, Gangs stunned up in the middle. Brad Dad is gonna be the target that ends up falling. You know, it is very even though he's been gone for a game. The fact that they know Brad Dad is looking for something in the mid, they have the they have their juggler there. They have their support there for the easy counter. Wazak is not there before Zebra. They get an easy counter off. And it's a big, big win for the side of PC to kind of deny that almost entirely. Mm-hmm. And it's kind no of a cool thing that happens here. Okay. Wazak going to go forward. Flash just to find the stun on the PC Zebra. PC Zebra forcing the Warthog. Miniature Hobbit now might be in trouble though. Caddy Boy. Looking for the damage. Brad Dad now back bot. PC Zebra critically low. Forced to flash away. Great Zebra might be in taunt range. Andaloth is able to find that one. Can he escape? Zebra stepping. taking damage. Walking underneath the turret. That's going to be a kill for Wazak. Wizzik, Wozok, Wezak. One, one like, pretty like pretty consistent thing throughout all these games is that Zero's not blowing his flash if he thinks he's dead. If he thinks he's dead, he is holding his flash. He's going to use it somewhere else. And so far, it's worked. I think it's worked out for him. There aren't a lot of situations where, I'll, where I'm like, oh, if he had flashed there, he surely would have lived. I'm not sure. 
I think I kind of think he could have flashed there. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like that. That was the one of the situations. But it's like the idea, I guess, from him is like I'm either flashing to dodge to taunt. Oh, and this is I incredibly don't... scary. Wazak looking for the damage. Ruffian forced to flash, but Catboy now going to be trapped He's underneath dead. the turret. Wazak is going to tank here, using the uh... abilities well to try and dissuade this bandage toss. Will hit though. <laughs> the Brad Dad. No, no one's going to be able to walk out of that one. I really mm -hmm. like how Brad Dad plays. It's just some energy yeah. to it, you know? Very mm -hmm. fun. Also, a really cool thing we saw, we saw the di opposite side starts from the junglers. They gank both side lanes and then just meet in the middle for like two minutes in the mm -hmm. or, or early. Like, kind of cool. It, mm -hmm. Very cool. I think one of the interesting things about this series so far is that, so far, it's pretty evident um, this entire Executive season, I'm sorry, I'm surprised it wasn't talked about more, but Ruffian and Jackie Boy have been punching up for a while now. <laughs> it's like, and especially in Executive, I think Ruffian peak plat and Jackie Boy gold. But honestly, aside from, I think, minor things, in terms of these kind of isolated 1v1s, the decision making they've been having, other than, you know, Ruffian with like the random, really aggressive engage, they've been holding their own really well and i think that's the not only is that the most you can ask for but that's like the best case scenario other than them going crazy and popping off yeah i think so, that's a major part of uh why you see this team in the final it's like they are such high value players mm -hmm. uh, when you look at the point distribution of a lot of teams these guys are really really over pulling their weight you know mm -hmm. Pulling their weight and some, right? Yeah, yeah. That, maybe that's a better way of saying it. <laughs> <laughs> but it seems like they are going to give up the first strike here. Yeah, first strike is going to go over here to the side of Andalox's boss, aka the Hunks. What did we say? Trunks? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. The Hunks. Dunks. The Hunks. Dunks. Yep. Hunks. That was it. Yeah. They are going to cross map with the Herald, though. I like First Herald better than I like First Drake, but they're not going to let him have it for free. Looking for him on the back end. He will pick up the eye. But he will get stunned up here, and we're going to have to see. Can Dude Scooter land anything? Nope. He's going to be able to safeguard right over to PCC or PCC or using the ultimate. We'll get charmed up here, though. Taking quite a bit of damage. Brad Dad going over the wall with the bandage toss. PCC are taking a ton of damage. Heart damage used to try and go forward. And a lot. Ulting in to find it, and both of them are going to fall. I did not think that was going to go that way. Yeah, I think it's important to note. Oh, oh that was messy. <laughs> that, was, that was messy. A uh, Seer did yeah. flash again. Okay, that time, I think... He's I think only he flash for next game, okay? <laughs> <laughs> it was a little weird. I don't know. That, that time, I did, I did kind of was like, okay, I think you could, I think you could flash there and maybe save your life. Um, I did not know Anvil Officer. Like, if I was in that situation, I was I, like, in comms, I'd be like, whoa, who did you get here? Yeah, um, penalty. Yeah, I was like, I know it was but I was like, still kind of, I didn't see Brad the Dad. I don't know why. How the angle here, flash you. forward, that's going to be ultimate. It will go wide, but the curse of the sad mummy is going to be good. Here goes the Zaya ultimate, but the arrow finds its mark. And now Caddy Boy, just going to be resigned to his <laughs> alcove gaming fate. Charm going to land double kill for Miniature Hobbit. Mm -hmm. well Miniature Hobbit might be the last person you want to get ahead in this situation. Especially the given Barris. last game. Yep. Is someone who can really take over, someone who can kind of decimate well, the game. But I mean, what you guys were talking about it earlier. Sure. Zebra going in of insect flash kick backwards. Q execute will be enough to find it. But there goes the charm. It will mean zebra falls on the back end. Another plate goes over to see her though. You Clean don't hate that. You zebra. always take trades from behind. Mm -hmm. And even better, it means you get the herald onto the mid laner that we were talking about. Is going to be the focal point of this game, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'd imagine his uh, what's probably going to be a Leandris or a Le I hope. Although I, I also mean, could see a you don't Leandris. you don't want to make that claim. You just let him build it and say it's wrong. <laughs> that is the way of the oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious what these uh, top lane itemizations are going to be. We've seen a few things, mostly the uh, the size one, the the. Heart mm -hmm. steel, heart steel. Heart steel. I think heart steel. it looks like we're probably going to get Radiant Virtue. Um, I think Radiant Virtue on both sides. I would kind of like that. Like with the crystalline, with the crystalline bracer, I think yeah. is the tell, tell all. But it's I think yeah, it's good on both sides. 
Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of team fights, a lot of front to back. I think Radiant Fair choose beautiful front to back fight. Because Man, they are looking aggressive here. Good call from Jack not to fucking walk into that truck. Get out of there, yeah. <laughs> Just did. And but the tough thing now is that do you see how far back they're pushed? It's kind yeah, of disgusting. They have no control of their bot lane, and even with Zebra there, he can't really help Ooh, them. He's going to get stunned up here. That is so much damage. Charm is going to land. Hexflash won't make it over the wall, but it won't matter. Dude Scooter goes on a killing spree. Mm -hmm. Dude really can play. Dude this is, is on a killing spree. Mm -hmm. Dude is? I was like, dude is, dude is looking strong. Miniature Hobbit is, Hobbit is looking strong, and they're all being kind of propelled by Waza, right? Yeah, I think Wazak in these early games has been insane. Ooh, there goes the curse of the sad mummy. Jack Caddy boy is going to be the target of the arrow. There goes the ultimate. Ultimate use on that end, but it's not going to turn in. Feathers don't quite land on the miniature Hobbit. Now in the mid lane, we see a duel, but Jungler is going to be here. Seer has to run tons of damage. Good flash. That, that was important. what it was for. That right there. <laughs> that one moment. Hey, you know what? That wasn't even that bad of a flash. I really, that was a good flash. Really good flash. I, and once again, it's like one of those things. Like if you, I now if he dies there, right? It's not that great, right? You traded well with Ari, but then you died in the end. And even though he has the TP, you know he doesn't want to burn the TP after being dead. Yeah. So it's a good call to flash there. You don't give up another kill. The Andrew's alignment is done, and we'll. Luigi's anguish is done. It'll be a land later. Um, Unless Duck Lord just really doesn't like Seer today. Um, that would be something. I, uh, I hey, would be very interested in. Why is this Victor build one. wrong? <laughs> there it is. Yeah, Tushat, please, please inform us. Because yeah. I don't play Victor. I don't think Mighty plays Victor. And I, from Papa's question, play, I don't think I he play plays everything. Victor. I, I uh, oh, Duck Lord gonna try and stop the Victor. back here. Won't get taunted. Yep. So just trying to force Andal off the stay when he doesn't quite want to. Yeah, and that was, that was a really aggressive decision. Because <laughs> if that taunt hits, it's, oh, it's over. Zebra I thought it was pretty here. good. Wait, ah. any there? Ye oh, you're so right. I mean, I guess he still gets taunted, but he doesn't move. So. Yeah, he, does, he doesn't move. Though. Yeah, he's unstoppable. He doesn't cleanse him, CC. So he would have been taunted after the W ended. Yeah. Which is still really unfortunate. Oh, never mind. It's hard steel. Not ready to hurt you. Oh, who has? I'm trying to think of. Um, I'm trying to think of. Because I know it has crystalline bracer. Yeah, maybe it's. Um, not, it's probably just the same. Right? You want to point out here, Wazak, pretty far ahead on the jungle item completion, five stacks to twelve. Yeah, we've oh, seen this. It's kind of a trend. We've seen this a few games. Mm -hmm. Kind of to be expected though on Diego versus Lee Sin. I think more so than yeah. some of the other games. We also saw it in the Belveth game though. Mm -hmm. Earlier completion on the front door. Pretty well. Yeah. Zebra. They have no control of the red jungle here, by the way. Ooh. And off is gonna find that taunt underneath the turret. Duck Lord gonna take one, two, three turret shots. One, two, three! <laughs> and the <laughs> Whoa. red buff. Whoa! Oh. Unexpected count! Ooh, Side Brad Dad point. is Flash Curse of the Sad Mummy into Charm! That is absolutely beautiful. You don't risk that one on a bandage toss. The PC no seer. reason to try and... No reason to risk the sidestep. Yeah. Ooh, Duck Lord! Fucking... What a flash. Oh! Ruffian looking to trade back some damage on a Wazok, though. Mm -hmm. Pretty good with those feathers. So, now I think PC really is in scaling, right? The... The victor has been targeted time and time again. Um, obviously, I think while Zaya has done a great job of not dying, she's still down about 40 CS. Um, Lee Sin has had some early game moments, but hasn't had anything defining, and obviously Lulu doesn't have any items yet. Horn is down as well. Mm -hmm. Everyone is down. You kills a double at the moment, and you're down two drinks. You've got this is a now. Luckily, your comp can turtle and turtle well, right? Mm -hmm. Good team fighting. You scale That's strong. Funny. You'll have to worry about the Varus as the game goes on, but the longer the game goes on, the better your team will be able to handle Ari. And that's kind of really what you want, right? The thorn in their side, though, is going to be this Drake stacking already coming out here. Mm -hmm. It is an infernal soul map here for the side of Andalot's boss, potentially, and they have a team that will absolutely relish in that burst damage. Oh, yeah. 
to, to what you were talking about earlier where um, the bot lane of PC has been so pivotal for them and playing way above their uh, weight class here. It's kind of on them this game to really pull mm -hmm. out all the stops because the Zaya is what counters a lot of these like very close range champions and they're yep. going to need that. Mm -hmm. They're going to potentially look to oh, fight for this 4k dropping. Here comes the Orhorn. Andaloth looking for the top. It does mean the Orn Horn oh, cannot oh, go oh, off. Oh, Zebra going into the back will get stunned up by Wazok. Forced to use the safeguard over the wall, but will go back in a big Gore Drinker. And then the Lulu Ultimate means he's going to stay alive. But here comes the Heartbreaker, and it will find one. That's one reset. Duck Lord going to be the next one to fall. And now here comes Andaloth in onto the backside. Ruffian is going to fall. Seer going to be the last one. Will get hit by the charm. And that is going to be a full route in favor of Andaloth Squads. That denial on the Orn ulti makes such a huge. big difference. And a huge Varus ulti coming in on the backside. Also rooting up the Zaya, not allowing those feathers to go deeper into the team fight. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the big things we're seeing is like when these comps, when these aren't back, like straight up teams facing off front to front five, um, back to front, front to back, five v fives, and a loss can run these fights over because the more scattered the more disoriented the fight is is the easier it gets and a lot making um just making the game time is like well if i walk up to the guy and i toss him can't hold <laughs> you just can't do it yeah right, very no flash to but like maybe he flashes backwards and tries to hit and i mean um you could look for the um i know one of the tricks Owen players have done is like you bolt behind you and then you knock it into the team so that you can continue to kite back but still get a good ult off yeah. but there's like can't have the kind of foresight spot, yeah it's, it's really hard to say oh there is going to be a shen running straight at me when i press this mm -hmm. r and i'm gonna have to like somehow avoid the taunt to get this done mm -hmm. it's really hard to say that before you use it you know Ooh, that was some nice ice exactly. clanking. Yeah, Thank that, was, you. that was actually really nice. Yeah, that's some good foley work. ASMR stream right now. <laughs> oh, hang on oh. though. Ruffian is going to be in trouble. That's going to be an absolute deletion. 14 seconds before the Infernal Drake spawns. Hey, if you do not give Zaya a chance to press R, she cannot dodge the CC. Yeah, not choosing to use the cleanse Gale Force there. Probably just assuming the Q2 from a moon is going to finish you. Uh, kind of a good decision, I think. Even though, you know, it's already too late. Mm -hmm. Didn't have our either. Um, but I think, once again, getting caught before there kind of dooms the chances of fighting this Drake. And as you see, once again, and a loss. Um, yeah, I don't know if you want to do um, the vision toggle, but per, I think pretty, like, or gold. dominating um, Very red, yeah, red vision mm. in their jungle. And it's been all game. It's not even just for this Drake. They've had that bot yeah. side locked down. Okay, here comes Ornhorn. And the law. Gonna be the target. Oh, gonna take a ton of damage here. We'll go down to PCC here, and that's gonna be pretty critical. Ruffian gonna try and do some work here, but taking so much damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, flash forward. That's gonna be a stun. Ultimate gonna be forced out. Root Caller is available. It will find two! Oh, and it gets go. the trade okay. kill. Hey, big that's trade kill, get the shutdown, um, and that's really what you want, especially as the ADC is one of the characters that's going to scale later into the game. If you want that, that being said, why is that? Yep. Oh, Minish is going to be kicked back, but I don't know if it'll matter. Okay, there goes the Q, is forced to flash away, looking to do the damage for himself. The Lulu Ultimate that. trying to find it, trying to do the damage. Minish Hobbit not going to be able to take Seer out just yet, but Brad Dad going in, he wants blood, he wants more. Miniature Hobbit, though, is going to get TP'd behind. Oh. Resonating Strike, not going to land. Sierra is going to look for the damage. We'll <laughs> shut down Miniature Hobbit. Yeah. Brad Dad now looking That's to go forward, looking to do the damage that he can before he falls into the waiting hands of the Panther Corps. They are going to look to donate this one over to Sierra. Nope. Zebra is going to end up picking it up in the end. Pretty goofy there. Uh, Miniature Hobbit went absolutely sicko mode. Gets kicked into the turret, says, hey, it's just a Lulu, and I got no problems. And nearly like kills him. both of them. But Nearly. overstayed their welcome in the base, and Seer gets the flank TP. Weird, weird TP placement, by the way. Just right outside their base, the TP, like, <laughs> but hey. it worked. Yeah, I was like, hey, can't complain about it, right? You got to make sure, block the exit, get the recap. Um, Lich Bane Rush, after the Andrews. 
Yeah, I mean, I hate it, obviously, but can't be right. And ironically, not a fan. But uh, once again, you're looking for most of the. You're looking for as much damage as you can, right? And I think Lichman definitely fills that quota. You're trying to just pop the first person know, like, who steps a bit too far. Damage. Might be onto something, might be. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really, if you wanted. <laughs> a lot of other items that give AP, you know. True. <laughs> right, right, right. Perfecto. Right. And so, Mari, I'll ask the... you, uh, what? Um, what do you think is the PC Ghost path back to the game? Um, they need the game to go on for at least eight or nine more minutes, and probably they need to stop the next dragon. Okay. Pretty simple line of reasoning. Yeah. yeah if they could manage all that stuff, um, it'd be pretty good. As far as winning the team fight, or an ulti probably needs to go off. Um, would help to get a pick, but you know, inspired team fight. Okay, there goes really the good. ultimate. We are gonna find a stun there on to Jackie Boy, and he is going to get taken down. Mm -hmm. Charm, good damage one. being found on the duck lord here from Dude Scoot. I don't know if they should care about Barrett, honestly. I just don't think they could fight. I think me and Peppa would just get the same thing if I had to dip um, out of it. Hang on. Horn Horn gonna be uh -huh. used here. Duck Lord looking to find the vertical cross. That's gonna be quite a bit of damage. Goes unstoppable, flashes away, but does get found by the Soul Orb or whatever that's called in the back end. Okay, going in. Zebra looking to do the damage, but that is so much lockdown instantly. In the wall is the Soul Seer looking to find the damage, but here comes the Shen Shield. Stand United and stand united with his team. He does. The eponymous mm. leader. Wow. Ah, it's gonna be a charm. Oh, good flash. oh, what a flash charm coming out. And this that is looking is a like full ace with Doom yeah, Scooter in the base. Right. Shen TP is coming oh. in. Oh, and they got Baron, Baron canceled it. Baron MVP! Baron, Baron is an agent. But as it stands. End. No, they're not gonna end. They're gonna reset because there's only 41 wow. seconds until this Drake. Holy, that's actually the... If PC win from here, if PC, PC here, is has a let me thank Baron, they've been given a second chance, right? Yeah, there's no way that that just happened. That's <laughs> unreal. Now, what... Now, Mighty, I want you to take a guess. What is the upgraded Heart of Steel called? I can't peek. I, I mean, well, if I you really want to, you can yet, peek. Right? Heart. What's it? The the normal item called heart steel, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. Wait, I think that's wrong. Heart steel? No, heart steel's right. Heart no, 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 no. I mean the, the upgraded item. Oh, dude, scooter goes over the wall. Finds so much damage on a Jackie boy. Wazak looking for the reset. Oh, but the snipe arrow is gonna find it just in case. Victor Alt doing a ton of damage. Zebra finds the resonating sight strike. Over the wall, but Duck Lord is getting chewed through by the side of Andaloth's boss, and now the Zaya is the target. There goes the ultimate. Here's the root collar. He does quite a bit of damage. Zebra licking in the back line, manages to find one. Can he find another one? Brad Dad looking like he's gonna fall, but Miniature Hobbit does just too much. And I think if anything is gonna be the series, that is gonna be it. And we are gonna crown Andaloth's cloths, formerly known as Brad's Chads, as Executive League champions, two seasons running. Yeah, I want to say it's Iron Man, by the way. Um, it's Leviathan. Um, <laughs> nice try, though. That's a good guess. Um, and you know, that is going to be the second straight team um, to, in back to back seasons, to kind of achieve that back to back. And who else did it? Um, Cirque's hit it last season mm. in commercial. They achieve. Oh, I don't know if they went back to back actually. I think they went to finals and then won finals and then they went to finals, lost, and then won the finals in the season. All right, I'm very That's tired, nice. but it is finals, mm -hmm. so I do want to do interviews. Do we want to do losers first we'll... and then winners, or other? We'll way? do losers if they want to do a loser. Yeah, if they want to, obviously. Right. I think winners is easier. Though. Like you do winners first for 
just because I feel like you think winners do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that's that's kind of how that's how worlds did it, right? You do the winner interview. Then you okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do Andaloth first. Then if you're from Andaloth, get in community. Mm-hmm. We'll put you in. That's a solid series, though. And actually, um, I think Andaloth mm-hmm. cleaned it a lot, cleaned it up a lot in that last game. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, they played a really, really clean game. Four wasn't <laughs> made it sure to made sure to make it look as not close as possible because with the same lineup, game one, it was a lot more close. They almost lost it. Oh and yeah, I know that was inches. Ghosts are gonna turn around and be like, look at their game one and be like, that close. It really was that close. Oh boy. I don't see any community joiners yet. Oh, there, oh, there that's that's honestly <laughs> there's the one that I wanted to interview. <laughs> dude, yeah. dude, 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 before anybody says anything, I owe you an apology. Your Ari is fantastic. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> all right dude scooter uh i mean just talk us through how you're feeling right now uh feels really really good i i mean i know you said that this is the team's second win in a row but i wasn't actually on this team last season we did a little mm. bit of trading around so this is actually my first time winning lvlcs so it feels really really good i'm very happy mm. for our team and i'm also glad that um i guess it, it wasn't it wasn't just a clean stomp every time they, you know they, they, teams put up a fight and it was they're good games that I really enjoyed being in. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, talk to us about, obviously, you know, you called us out for not checking your mastery in the chat. <laughs> uh, talk to us about this um, this mid lane matchup and, and, you know, how it was playing into someone with it. Seemingly a very similar champ pool. Yeah, so um, I don't know how familiar you guys are with, like, this, this season results um, against that team. Um, the mm-hmm. first time we played them, I think we 2-0'd them, but I wasn't actually playing. Um, a um, and, and so I, I didn't really think much of it. The second time we played them in the, in the season, they 2-0'd us, and we got mm-hmm. stomped. And it was particularly that. their mid laner that, that, that stomped me. Um, so I, I was feeling pretty nervous um, you know, coming up to this, feeling like you know, I, can, I can try to minimize, and I, I tend to be like, decent at minimizing, but like, this guy is really, really good in lane. Um, mm. and, and I felt that, again, this series. Um, fortunately, they did let me get Syndra in, my, in the third game. Um, and on Syndra, I, I, realistically, I'm a, I'm a Syndra one trick as much as, you know, I, <laughs> Ari is my second highest mastery score. It's, it's not even close. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's about like 5x, right? Yes, yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and so once I got that, I, I felt like I could get a foothold in the series. Um, that gave me more confidence, and then in the third game, I, or, sorry, the last game, I think I did a lot better, um, j- just yeah. because of that confidence boost. Yeah, you had a really, really strong way of closing out the series, and we saw a lot of kind of, I'll say, what's a good way to put it, um, team-like identities, we saw a lot of scrappiness come out from PC. How did you guys mm-hmm. handle the kind of the, their constant fighting and kind of posturing as the series went on because it seemed like you guys just got better and better at yeah. handling it. So to be completely honest, it feels like we started to read them. We started to mm-hmm. expect their plays more, um, especially after that second game where we were up in the lead at one point and then uh, I got caught and then we, the rest of us got caught and they started just grouping us five and there was nothing we could do. Um, that as well as we noticed that every time they took second dragon, they would hide in the pit beforehand um, to like basically catch us out um and so mm-hmm. in the last game especially we we mentioned that and um they, they didn't end up doing it but i guess sort of recognizing their play style with with grouping up and and trying to um, play like that um that helped us a lot as we move through the series mm-hmm. so sort of leading off of that can you talk to us a little bit about the communication with the team maybe who's uh generating or leading that communication and what you yeah. guys were talking about through the series so there's a, a good reason why Brad Dad and Wazek are on this team and were also on the team last season. And that's because they are incredible shot callers. Um, having those two as a jungle support duo, you know, the, the two shot calling, the main shot calling roles is extremely helpful. Um, especially since I'm, you know, personally, I'm a, a lower ranked player, you know, gold or platinum ish area. And so knowing, not having to worry about my knowledge of macro, but relying on them um, and then just the fact that we're really good at communicating with each other because we've been playing together for years um, 
it, it really helps a lot with our communication. All right. Well, All right. anyone you want to shout out, anyone you want to thank, you know, wrap it up. Um, just, you know, who, who contributed to this win that may not be visible otherwise? Um, I want to thank Andaloth, who uh, let us use his name this season. He's a real <laughs> homie. Um, and I, I mentioned in the first champion select that my ex-girlfriend wants to watch. Uh, she's my ex-girlfriend because we're actually engaged, so shout out to her as well. Uh, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats. I think that's about it. I guess shout out right. to the rest of my team, but, but, but a lower shout out. Are are you gonna yeah. have a dude name for the team next season? Or? True. Actually, actually, yes. I will not leak it, but yes, we will. Duder scooters. Poodles. Holy, Duder scooters! If it's not Duder scooters, I'll be pretty angry. I won't lie. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I will be pretty unhappy. We'll see. All right. Well, thank right. you very much. Thank you so much. Sure. Thanks, guys, for putting this on. Mm -hmm. That was your right. newly minted Season 9 Executive Champions. Now, if someone from Panther Core Gopes wanted to come on and do an interview, um, we would welcome that as well. But Yeah, we'll, we'll give them a sec. I, I think they've had yeah. plenty of time to join. Mm -hmm. That is like, I'll, I, shot, I shot out the app. It's completely up to them. For sure. For sure. Oh, it's been a fun really, season. It's a long series. Yeah, yeah it's been that a fun was really series. good. Fun season. Game one was my favorite. I, yeah, it, I mean the ending was insane. Like, don't forget mm -hmm. that that game ends on like. Yeah, that game ends differently. We're four, sort of. Mm -hmm. We're going game five. Yeah. yeah. All right, we have. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> uh, oh boy. All right, welcome to the broadcast, Hello. Mr. PC Donnell Wintrade. Um, it's Donnell. Doniel, though a deer, a female deer. Um, it's a contentious pronunciation. It's okay. Uh huh. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good, man. Those were some. I'm fans. allergic to winning finals. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. Unlucky. How? It's like, okay. I mean, you looked pretty great in a lot of those games. Uh, want to? You want to talk us through any? particular drafting moments um around the 80 carry pick i actually am interested in the zaya pick we were we were hypothesizing samira we were saying i i joked about draven what oh, samira would have been fun <laughs> i i think i said sivir yeah you said remember. sivir mm -hmm. i said i i've always really liked zaya uh i think she was or maybe still is my highest win rate champ with like 30 plus games i think it's like 60 or like 59 right now but the other day, PC Seer was like, you should try Navori, Zaya. And then I did with uh, with Slothman, and it was really, really good. And I, I felt pretty good on it. Uh, obviously, it didn't work out. Um, but I don't know. I just It's like a personal favorite champ of mine. But like I, I spammed like 30 games of it at the very beginning of the season, and then stopped when they nerfed the Eclipse build. But I really enjoyed the crit. Like I like the crit more than the lethality at this point. So it's like more like a pocket pick. Samira, was, really Samira would have been fun. They had a lot of uh, very short range champions, so definitely a good idea there. Yeah, and they had a lot of jump on my face stuff, like Amumu Viego and the Ari as well. I was kind of eating Amumu Qs though. That was <laughs> I pretty mean, fun. Brad Dad, thanks, Brad thanks, Brad Dad. Dad. Crazy, yeah. yeah, he was playing really well. I, I have to say, like, Adelaus played so well. Like, I can't even fault the first two games. I mean, both of those games could have gone either way. Mm -hmm. Like, they were both so close. We could have won game one, they could have won game two. It was a lot of fun, so it was really, really hype. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, no, it, huge, super fun series. Obviously, um, an unfortunate way to cap uh, cap the season, but had a pretty fun finals. I think you guys fought super valiantly. Is there anything that you would point out about draft that you think was a good call for the entire series? Um. I think Sejuani Pryo, the first couple of games, was really good. I mean, that Duckler is kind of a menace on it. Even in bad matchups like Mordekaiser, uh, mm -hmm. like he plays so well. He weak sides really, really well, and it's really impressive. So I think the Sejuani Pryo we had was really good. And then we kind of lost it a little bit later. We are trying to do a little bit more around bot. That didn't work out, obviously, but I don't think it was a bad idea. It just it could have been played better. But you know, I was really excited when I saw your Kaisa lock in with the Sejuani because I think that's such an awesome combo. You get that a uh, yep. really easy way into fights. 
Can you tell me, and is that something you guys practice a lot? Is that like a strategy you guys prefer? Or? Uh, I don't know about the Kaisa necessarily with Sedge, but I've been playing a ton of Kaisa in solo queue. I blind pick at most games, um, and we really like Thresh, I, especially after our series against Coffee House. That uh, Popova was there for that. Like yeah. our, we we put we ended up putting a lot more Prio and Thresh this series. I should have said that earlier. Actually, like we were playing a lot of Enchanters for most of the season, but mm -hmm. this series and then the Coffee House series, we put th tons of Prio and Thresh. So Kaisa goes really well with Thresh too. So. That was kind of more of our my thoughts at least. I'm sure Jason had some giga brain plan with Sejuani Kaisa as well, but <laughs> it's a lot of fun to play regardless. Like you said, like the long range engage, like Q flash Sej R and like Kaisa R and you're you're gone. Yeah, <laughs> you just so it's a lot of fun. I, I've seen that get played a lot in China, so it's like yeah, kind of a neat strategy. I do my best Jackie Love impression, which includes losing to Gigabyte Marines. So, awesome, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. There was a play I wanted to ask you about, oh. um, where your support DC'd and you just jumped in front and and. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um. So I was thinking, like, do I pause even though I know they're going to trade with us, and then like kind of grief the fight, or do I just <laughs> tank the Q and cleanse it? So I was like, whatever, pause. I'll just cleanse it. But then my team paused because I said, hey, Jack DC. And then they paused as I cleansed it. So I was like, oh, that sucks. Oh, well. And then my shield popped and I took the tower and it, like everything went downhill. But it looked really badass, though, for stream. Like, <laughs> yeah, I did beat that thing. I'm not going to well, lie. It paused on your cleanse. Like, yeah. yeah. You looked like you were ascending or some shit. It's <laughs> I was glowing, um, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll well, see. Oh. Um, oh, I have one more question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, ghosts are probably going to be back. If there is one, like, kind of scenario you want to happen next season, whether it's your team, whether whether it's against another team, whether it's a certain match, what would you want it to be? I really want to play versus Naughty Boys. Mm -hmm. I have never played versus Naughty Boys exec team, ever. Interesting. Well, Actually, no, we scrimmed them. Up. We scrimmed them. Sorry, we scrimmed them, but... Maybe In an can... actual match. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, we, we can set up some so show matches in the off season. Maybe no, 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 real no? match. <laughs> Nothing's mean... nicer than going against a team you scrim a lot and like, or it's just like team you've always wanted to play. That's how I felt. Everything's a real match if you try hard. Yeah. If there's schmeckles on the that. line, there we go. Oh, if there's schmeckles on the line, it's for sure. Oh, I'm glad that the one the the game we won was the the ninety thousand pot. I'm glad oh, that was I know. the game we won. Little made <laughs> a yeah. killing that game. I didn't I didn't see the the betting for the other games, but I'm glad that that was the one we won. Yeah, that was I the think big that one by far. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys did win the game with the most schmeckles on it. I think you can take that home with a big old medal around your neck. Yeah, I've never really seen that many schmeckles in one place. <laughs> All right. Well, me neither. <laughs> I will offer you the same opportunity. Anyone you want to shout out. Teammates, coaches, draft helpers, anyone? Yeah, I mean, everyone on our team played really well, and the whole season was a big like growth. Like, I think the beginning of the season, the end of the season, very different teams. So I, I want to thank them all. They played really well all season, and it's been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. So, and all of Panther mm -hmm. Core, everyone in Panther Core is really cool. So I, I just really like being around them. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And also Coach Marsh, uh, he's a great uh, positional coach. He does really good with the Zillion. Coach Marsh. Never uh, heard of that guy. Well, why don't you uh, take us out with your, your classic catchphrase? Huh? You guys do this to me every time, man.